to me too good. Okay, I'll just say no. Okay, hello, hello. Hello, KPC. Welcome to another KPC Live and Anna Live. Mine's live. Hi yep, guys. I'm live too. Welcome everybody. Tunisia, hi. Navneet, Slav, Amira, Meredith, Kim M. Couch Potato Party. Hello everybody. Welcome to the show. Yes. Hi. And it's a very sad day. Why? No, he's trolling. What is it? It's a very depressing day. You're trolling. What is it? I'll tell you about it in like <laughs> at the end of the live, like you always. Thirty do. minutes, yeah. But uh, before you go in, check out the websites over here. <laughs> it also awesome cards and uh, <laughs> Korean products, Nike sweatshirts collaborations. Go check it out. And uh, before we start the live, for both of us, if you want to donate, if you want to support oh, yes. the stream, go directly to PayPal. Uh, not linked. Super Chat because Super Chat <laughs> takes 35%. So, really would appreciate if you could go to PayPal here. <laughs> the link is over here and in the description. Okay. Did so. you see the video I sent in my last PayPal? You about last time. I don't know. Can you send videos on PayPal? I definitely got your donation. I don't know if I can. Yeah, receive. we get your messages. Yeah, we get the messages. I'm not sure if I can receive videos mm -hmm. on PayPal. Hey Anna, I'm so glad I could join your live today. I'm from Hong Kong. Speaking of Hong Kong, I'm going next week on the 7th. I am so excited. I'm so jealous. You've been to Macau several times. I've been to Hong Kong too, but... You've been to Hong Kong. Hong Kong has so many delicious stuff. <laughs> the dim sums yeah, and like so the, much good food. And yeah. um, my dad is actually leaving tomorrow with my family. Mm. So that should be <laughs> that should be fun. And um, really out of topic and really weird way to start the stream, but like there's you know there's a slang for Hong Kong. Like what? I'm going to Hong Kong in Korea. Baza. Yes. <laughs> Explain to that. That's like this weird um slang. It's not slang. It's slang. It's like a weird myth. Not a myth, but like when, when a girl says, well, anyway, it doesn't matter what if a girl or guy says it. If you're saying, oh, I'm going on a it's Hong Kong trip. It's usually the girl. Really? Yeah. Hong Kong mm. <laughs> I'm going on a Hong Kong trip. It means like she's going to have the big O. <laughs> she's going <laughs> to have, uh, she's going to come. She's going to have the big O. That's usually what it means. I don't know why it so for is Hong Kong. dudes, it's usually like, Hong Kong, it's yes, like, I'll, I'll send, send you to, to Hong, Hong Kong. Kong. Yeah. I'll send you to the Netherlands. I'm pretty sure there is an origin, but I'm not that um, knowledgeable in those kind of... I have no idea of, why it's called yeah. Hong Kong. But anyways, what a weird way to start a stream. You mentioned Hong Kong. Yeah, that's why. A cute shirt on you. Actually, this shirt, I've, I'm just going to film it in my vlogs, but this shirt is like... It's from a Korean brand called Ron Ron. Mm -hmm. Jenny has worn this on her Instagram and oh, Suji. Really? as well so it's like the trending t-shirt of really? korea yes. i should sell it on people's <laughs> i'll give you the link okay that's <laughs> nice. so uh just just to go back to hong kong it says according to google it's the equi equivalent of getting high or like getting the orgasm yes and the roots go back to the 1960s it's a slang that started there and hong kong was back then like a very luxurious and nice mm. like place it is still but to Korea, and it was under like UK law, uh, UK, what do you call, sovereignty or whatever. Yeah. It had amazing capital, it was like the golden city and a lot of fantasy, a lot of like Hong Kong movies were export imported to Korea. So there was a lot of jealousy, envy, and respect towards Hong Kong. So that became, I'm going to Hong Kong. Now you know this phrase, if you say in Korea, I'm gonna send you to Hong Kong, it could have like a sexual meaning. It, yeah. 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 <laughs> Okay. And can I just show everybody? I'm very excited about these. My, I got green nails. <laughs> green nails? Yeah, nobody cares, but I think they're super cute. Okay, Dark green. They're cute. Yeah, yeah they're cute. <laughs> hello. Catch up talk. Hello, hello. Catch up talk. Okay, so let's start the news in about like 15 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're in a rush, if you're re watching this, skip like to the 20 minute point and mm -hmm. we'll start the news. Hello JS Sun, hello Gamma, hello Art Art, hello Chanmer, Kimpy. Huh? Hello Trenami, it's Hamburg time. I don't see any bananas next to names in the chat. Oh, what's happening? I saw them way earlier in the chat. 
Hi, say hello if you're a member. Say hi. Um, catch up talk. So how yeah. have you been? Um, ah, my body is worn out right now because oh. we did the contract for the office. Uh, we you got, did? Yeah, we got a really big space. Where? Uh, it's in Hyochangwon, oh, the place I was good. telling you about. It's good. literally like five minutes from my house. It's in Line 6, so Subini That's and so uh, everybody can go there. Yeah. Uh, probably in like within 15 minutes. Yeah. Uh, and uh, it's very spacious. It's, it's, it's like a L-sized, very weird construction, but like L-sized. One size is going to be like Piroso and like all the other office work. One size is going to be one side is going to be KPC, the content studio. You're free to come whenever you want, mm. and um, the, the streaming place is going to happen there as well. But the nice. thing is, it's so large. I I consulted with like a cleaning company about yeah. like the cleaning and stuff. Yeah. It's pretty old, so I needed to get rid of the dirt and all that uh -huh. kind of stains. And they called six hundred dollars. And I was like, that's too much. For the cleaning? Yeah. I'm, I, I can't afford that. So I did it all myself yesterday. Mm. And I literally like ruined my whole shoulders and my body. And like it's aching. I took like a painkiller right now. Oh. <laughs> yeah, just to save a couple bucks. But... Send a super chest to David <laughs> for his worn out body. Yeah. Uh, okay, well, how much is the rent? The rent is super, super Cheap? affordable. How much? Like, so... How much According is to size, it's 30 pyeong. 30 pyeong. It's, it's pretty big. Very big. Yeah. But we went around all of Seoul yeah. and it's 110 won. For the rent? Yeah. Tell them how much that is in dollars. It's like a uh, 900. 900 dollars. 1000 dollars. Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> really That's affordable. That's really. How did you get how much was the deposit? Deposit was uh 2000 won. So 20000. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But wow, that's that is really good. Really good. You'll be surprised when you visit the space and you like see like that place is one thousand mm, dollars. Okay. Yeah. Tell me what to come. Um, yeah, any time, but anytime. it's not ready yet. Okay. <laughs> it's just a white space now. Thank yeah. you, Chenami, again for gifting memberships. Thank you. Um, Anna, did you get your nails done in Korea? I just joined. Yes, I'm in Korea. You would be surprised how many people don't, like, especially even brands. They reach out to email me. They're like. Do you, where do you live? Do you live in London? Do you live in America? I'm yeah. like, they don't, they do clearly the haven't looked up a, yeah. a single video on my channel yeah. and they will just send you emails. Speaking of annoying emails, do you get emails from like um, Timu and no. Trip? Trip? No, I get, I get notifications from Timu ever since I signed up. They're like, do you actually use it? you're missing this deal right now. Yeah, you're getting extra $30. Like, Have you used it? Yeah, yeah. I, I was like in the bathroom and then I was looking for furniture. I installed it's Timu. super cheap. And then I was like, you got five minutes to make a $10 purchase to get like $100 coupons. And I was like, what? And the they make it super, yeah. The, the clock marketing. is ticking. And yeah. I was like, okay. like, And then they recommend you like some use, useful products. And I was mm. like, actually, I need this. Like, mm. And they're like, if you buy this right now, we'll give the delivery fee for free and then and it's super cheap it's like ridiculously cheap like i watch quite a few videos yeah. of on timu and it's just like their business model is they're just bleeding money right uh -huh. now they're not making any they're bleeding money but mm. they're just spending it all on marketing and mm. making the product super super cheap yeah. to like just you know make everyone become aware of the brand mm. they want to make it like into the bigger than amazon basically yeah. yeah what do you guys think of timu have you guys used it because i keep getting sent emails from them being like can you promote on your channel and i can probably ask for like a really decent price uh -huh. like as an influencer yeah. for the video but are you guys going to be angry if i promote that kind of stuff on my channel well give me I, your opinions i already gave them a ten dollar sale <laughs> <laughs> so can, will you guys be angry with me if I do a Timu uh, promo video? Why would they be angry? Because they're like, you're like, it's like promoting like slave, like child labor. Oh, is it? I, that's what I've heard. Really? Yeah. I have no idea. On it's that. really cheap Chinese products. It is really cheap. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, let me know what you think. Hmm. Should I just get the bag? And because I've never shopped that on there but it's just like you know and same yeah. with trova trip trova trip is like i see a lot of my influencer friends doing this mm. actually recently it's like a company where they uh organize group trips and the influencer is the host mm. and um then like they're using the influencers like uh inf like the following to like be like hey join me for a trip in tokyo or like come to korea mm. we'll organize they organize everything mm. um but it's just like it's priced very expensive. You're basically advertising them right now. <laughs> like, well, okay. did you get Doing a back deal? Is this I haven't got any deals. 
Yeah, yeah. I just haven't said yes to Turbo Trip. Well, everybody in my chat is like, Timo's a ripoff. Oh, okay. The reviews are not good. Reviews Don't are not good. do it. And like, I feel how people's like Timo's card crap. information got stolen. Mm. It's really shady. Cancelled 100%. Yeah. Timo is terrible and they got in trouble for selling customer data. What? What kind of company is this? No Timo promo videos. Okay, fine. I just got a super chat. Thank you, What's RN. I'm late. Hi, Anna and David. I was looking forward to this live. And Anna, your nails are cute. Uh, David, you look extra handsome today. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> the reason I'm wearing a cap is because I got... Oh, there's a story I, I got to okay. tell you. So, okay. um, you know, Dangdum market. It's yes. like carrot market. It's like the secondhand market for Koreans. It's like Facebook marketplace. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, they do like shares there too. Like they just give you products if they have a problem like getting rid of it and stuff so for I've, free yeah i've been g gaining all these like nice ass sofas oh, from people because good. sofas take money to like get rid of them yeah. so they're like anybody who can Just take them take them yeah, yeah. I, I took some really nice sofas but other than that i was like having so much fun on the market yeah and i was looking through like the share like giving giving away section and then there was this guy says like uh, he owns a barber shop and he just opened so he's giving out free haircuts for his portfolio and I was like oh this is pretty interesting uh -huh. I gotta chop my hair so uh -huh. I was like yeah let me go there and I, I made a reservation and uh -huh. he was like yeah it's right next to your home so like come on over uh -huh. and then I went and then literally this guy he's like the biggest amateur novice ever oh no he took two freaking hours to cut my hair it's a what? guy's hair. I don't know he's like and then he not even girls hair takes two I hours know, to cut <laughs> i know and then because like i'm an introvert i can't complain in those kind of situations and what am i gonna do with my incomplete hair so i just have to let him finish right oh. and then like you know like the razor blades right he had like six he literally used all six of them to cut my hair mm. he's like ding ding oh <laughs> and then that kept on forever and then at the end my hair turned on horrific uh -huh. and i was like sighing and then he kind of caught that and he was like you know what i'll give you like a free down perm because like you know you don't seem satisfied with uh, your hair and then i was like okay whatever like you already spent so much time there. yeah and then he's like i'll give you a free down perm but that was my mistake because it took an extra one hour for that wait 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 hold on it says my stream is frozen oh sorry but what yeah it took three hours in total to get horrible hair and my hair looks like, I don't know, like a mushroom right now. I can't even take off my cap. So, yeah. The moral of the story is never get free haircuts. <laughs> what they offer you for their portfolios. But I've heard some good stuff about like going on Tanga Market and like getting like free haircuts. There's actually a lot of options. So if you look for decent ones and you look at the reviews and stuff like... Some people li literally good, get good uh, give good haircuts, but in my case, it was. Why, Why is this uh, not working? It's not working. It's like it's like it, it's lagging. Yeah. I'll try yeah. to refresh. Refresh my page. Yeah. I need a hug. Yes, thank you. Three hours. <sighs> it was like so. I I couldn't even say anything Why? to him because like, he was such this? a novice. What did you ask them to give you? I just asked him. Okay. to give like a normal freaking guy's haircut is it okay now guys why why is this so annoying mm, youtube is, is not that the wi-fi uh, no the wi-fi is working perfectly fine for me it's never not had this problem before <sighs> yeah you're making fun of me now but why? try to keep on refreshing or start over uh, three hours, that's crazy. Mine takes that long, but I get highlights and I have long hair. Yeah, for girls, I would assume it would be worth the visit and time to get, you know, a three hour free haircut. But for a guy, I usually go to a $5 barber shop. Not, it's not even a barber shop, it's where Ajashis go to. It's called Nice Guy. <laughs> and it's a chain, but it's really good quality. It's clean. You, you gotta do all the hair washing and all the stuff by yourself, but I would do that for like an saving an extra three dollars but it's like five or six dollars and uh they just chop chop in like 10 minutes and you're gone and I, i'm always satisfied with my haircuts my past haircuts were all from nice guy but oh someone's saying timu is hacking you oh <laughs> no. my god is it why you said bad stuff oh, about timu finish your browser yeah uh, update mm. oh okay guys maybe restart 
I have to restart my browser. Yeah, maybe restart. Okay, guys, just wait one second. I'm gonna restart my stream. Mm -hmm. Alright, this is. I'm gonna. Usually, new barbers apprentice with a more experienced one here in the States. Yeah, there was a guy who seemed more experienced behind me, but this guy was like. And honestly, it looks so funny because like barber shops in Korea, they've been relatively new. It's a new concept here. They've been around for like, I think a couple, five or six years. Before that, it was just all like hair salons. But um, these guys, they cosplay like these macho masculine men. So this guy had like a rider jacket on and he had like piercings and like, you know, everything. Like his hair was all like, you know, crazy, but Appearance doesn't matter. Is it working now? I restarted my browser. I think it's fine now. It's working now? It's working now. So okay. it works now. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Well, I completely missed everything that you just said. So. Yeah, it's, I was just be, be, yeah, be essing about like the, the barber shop. Yeah. D David and Anna, any recommendations for haircut places in Seoul? Well, I would just recommend go to like the big um, franchises even though they're expensive they do give like standard quality haircuts but I'm a believer in you know like hair salons barber shops if you if you just have the basic skills like wherever you go you're get you're gonna get a decent haircut like I I don't care that much about my hair honestly okay I might be locust but I truly believe that you know like you gotta have a certain appearance for your hair to actually complement yourself that much like if to the to the like the details you know like one inch of your haircut isn't gonna like change your appearance magically you gotta be on Chaonu or like Suji or Jenny level to have like a a slight touch in your hair and then that's gonna complement your appearance that much if you're just a commoner like me, just go to a five dollar, ten dollar hair, hair salon, and it's not going to be that different to like a fifty dollar, a hundred dollar hair salon. That's my philosophy. But be anyway, your way. Anyway, David's yeah. ranting. I have a rant that I also okay, want to say. Okay, go on, go on. <laughs> you know how? Okay, this is you guys won't know, but uh, this is a new feature on YouTube. Um, you know how we're doing a live stream right now, and it's this way, like landscape. Yeah. Um, YouTube has now pushed out live stream, but on vertical, so mm -hmm. like TikTok live. Mm -hmm. And they're saying if you go on live on YouTube from your mobile and it's vertical, yeah. Then it, they will push it out. They will put it on the shorts feed, so people oh, are like browsing shorts. Really? They will stumble upon people's lives, and then they might come to your channel. So they're saying, okay, they're really pushing. It's basically really, really like TikTok live. Uh -huh. And so I've seen a lot of, some of my creator friends suddenly going live uh -huh. on this format. And it's just like, oh, well, it's just like, what do you want us to do now with this? I have <laughs> never heard of that. Yeah, it's really new. It's like You go vertically live and they'll push it on your shorts feed? They push it on people's shorts feed. Whoa. It's like TikTok. I should try that once. But then we won't be able to do it like this. Mm. You have to do it just like, it meant to be like more casual live setting, like Instagram live. Okay, let's they try want, that. I think I can. Option. I think I can chop it off into half no. with OBS. Put you in the bottom and put me myself on the top mm, and maybe. do something like that. But I think they should make a separate interface for that, like Instagram Live, like the chest to come up on the bottom and stuff to to mm -hmm. do that. But mm -hmm. yeah, let me just uh, answer a super chat. Thank you so much. Uh, what's I can't read your full name right now, but Pizza slash Studio Fund. Thank you. Love you both. Pizza. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Wait, I got one from Patrick. Thank you, Patrick. We totally messed up the sequence of the stream, which is why we were having issues. We have to start every stream with Anna conforming or denying that she's dating David, and then we can start <laughs> the show. Literally on every single video, every single live, but even on my most recent uh, vlog, mm. it's just like anytime I'm, I'm shown with like either like the J Bros as well, Jason, yeah. John, they're like, Anna, you should date one of them. It's like, actually, the, uh, these comments kind of comments like I just find it funny, right? But it yeah. actually like hinders my actual dating life. Mm. These guys, they come on my YouTube, they're like, who is this? Who is this guy that's on your channel all the time? I'm like, I'm not then dating that's David. A, that's a sign for not to not meet that guy. <laughs> He's being insecure about a random guy who's on your vlog. Then. <laughs> It, it just tells you what kind of path you're gonna be walking down mm. if you're in a relationship. But honestly, yeah, like I sometimes wonder, like, should I just not? Maybe I shouldn't put like have videos with guys or live streams with guys because it does actually hinder my dating. No, no? 
No, you're... you have to be really secure. Do you value your YouTube life bigger or like relationship? No, my YouTube. Yeah, <laughs> obviously. Like, then, there's the answer. But yeah, thank you, Patrick. Um, so I always say, okay, so the YouTube vertical um, thingy yeah. that was annoying me, mm. and also um, I've I figured out on mobile you can actually go live with another person. So, oh, like collaboration. Yeah, yeah. So you can have someone for a different really? channel. Like I said, Subini. Like I was able to go live on mobile. You can't do it on desktop, which uh -huh. is annoying. And um, something else I wanted to say. Uh, Subini. <laughs> Yes. Okay. And also, like, it annoys me for Instagram Reels and also YouTube Shorts. Uh -huh. On TikTok, when you watch a video, you have the option to, like, press hold on the side and it makes the video go 2x speed. Okay. So that's, like, it saves me because you, and when people talk really slow, uh -huh. I'm just, like, press 2x. You know, on Instagram Reels, I swear before, you used to, like, be able to, like, hold down and, like, skip ahead to the part yeah, that you yeah, want. Yeah. They've got rid of that feature uh -huh. now. So I it's just, like, you have ever... to watch the whole reel. I don't think they ever... Gave, gave no, I swear on my life, place. they used to have that feature. Mm, that's been a pet peeve for me for a while. Yeah, too, it's for a while. And shorts as well. Well, shorts, I think you can mm. go like this, but you can't make this. You can't change the speed. I don't think you can do it with shorts either. You can go go to a thingy in shorts. Really? Yeah, I think. I don't know. Anyway, like I wish all these platforms would sort out all these issues. Yeah. And on shorts, like you can only choose the thumbnail on the YouTube shorts from mobile. Mm -hmm. You can't choose it on desktop. All of these issues. I want to have like a meeting with YouTube and complain about all the things that I well, find annoying. I got some hot tea okay. and I might be sued by this, but allegedly so. from an alleged source um, that knows a lot of insiders of YouTube from YouTube, I've heard some tea. Allegedly, <laughs> even YouTube doesn't know what's going on. Really? In the inside. So they're engineers. Like, everybody talks about the algorithm, shorts, live stream channels, long form, like how they're not like combining and, you know, like segregation and all that kind of stuff. Apparently, even YouTube themselves are, allegedly, even they, them, they themselves are experimenting within themselves. So Nobody they, don't, they don't have it figured out either. And then they made too many fragmentations, uh, like suddenly. So that those aren't like organically intertwining. Mm. So that's, they just gave up. That's what I heard, allegedly. Mm -hmm. So it's going to take a while for them. Like they're doing YouTube shopping right now, shorts, like long form, live stream mm -hmm. podcasts. So they're just expanding without any kind of like real infrastructure. So I think you have a hater on your. Oh, really? Someone says this is. Open. Don't give the interest in <laughs> hater. Like I like haters being on my comments because I always imagine behind the keyboard how much time they, and effort they have to go through like Typing in Wait, three what lines is this? What constantly. Is this? It's always the same convo and stories. Later, everyone. I've had my fill of these self-complimenting streams. Yeah, whatever. Don't don't give attention <laughs> to them. Why do you even read it out? Like that's that's what fuels their motivation. They're probably laughing. Oh, thank she you noticed for me. the engagement. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like what my job Whatever. I don't even know who you're talking about. But anyways. Um, Nicole says, Anna, you should not do that. You shouldn't let who you are dating control who you are seen with or talk to. I mean, yeah, I mean, obviously, in the end, I will do whatever I want to do. <laughs> so, yeah. exactly. Uh, and also, I was saying to David just before I was on my way here, there's this thing in Korea. It's like, um, how do you describe Tongyak? What do you say in English? Uh, it's a house lottery. It's literally a house lottery in like the most expensive areas of Gangnam. That's like there was one going on and the results come out tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Literally everyone in my entire family has applied for this. Basically, if you get this apartment in Gangnam, then you can get it at like a really, really low price. It was yeah. like a price from like years ago, yeah. four years ago. You, it's impossible to buy an apartment in Gangnam at this price. Mm -hmm. So they're giving three apartments away only. Mm -hmm. And they're just like uh, literally just picking. It's like the lottery. Mm -hmm. And whoever gets it can have the chance to buy the apartment at this really low price. And then you can literally flip it for like, this is your only chance to like possibly make like $2 million. Mm -hmm. Only chance. So, I mean, it's like literally everyone in Korea has applied. So has I really? haven't. You haven't, but like literally everyone I know has applied. I'm like, so. I'm not gonna win that lottery. <laughs> nah. Anyway, so if I if we end up winning, one of us ends up winning, I'll let you guys know. But, but then you have to have the massive deposit. And yeah, like, it, the the interest rate's gonna just cripple you. Yeah. The interest is gonna. But yeah. wish us luck. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know if I'll be applicable for like to get that amount of. Learn. Loan. Yeah. Because you'll have... You literally have to scrape everything, your assets you have to yeah. try and make that deposit. Yeah, yeah. So I don't it's think it's worth it. Yeah. No. I don't know. Yeah. But uh, 
Um, I I actually know some friends of mine that have won the lottery, and they like not to this level, but like there are multiple lotteries around Seoul, outside of Seoul. Mm. Uh, he's won like two lotteries outside of Seoul mm. in a place called Dongtan, and it's like a Lakeview apartment, and he literally earned like I don't know, shit up from that lottery. Mm. So ap apparently, how it works is like there is like a uh, um, what do you call it? Chirog is like how much in US? Um, 700,000? No, like 500,000? 500, 500,000. Yeah, that's right, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, 500,000 USD. But how it works is like you do the lottery, it's usually like a newly built apartment and they give you um, chances to get like a, a portion of it. Like they give you like a, a ratio uh -huh. uh, for people uh, to get lotteries and they give it to you like a, a very cheap price. And um, how you earn that much money is, so let's say the adjacent apartments nearby are formed at like an average price of like uh, uh, 1 million, what, what do you call it? 500k. 500k, right? So let's just say the adjacent apartments are 1 million. Okay. 1 million. And then you, you get into this apartment with 500k. Okay. Yeah, that's the lottery price. You yeah. get all your loans and you pay the 500k. Yeah. Then your house is instantly evaluated as 1 million because the nearby apartments are 1 million. Yeah. So that's the calculation on how you would earn 500k. How you can earn more. Yeah, yeah, but as long as you don't sell it, you're not really earning that money, but at least you know that oh, my assets are up at that much mm -hmm. value. So when I'm, and from what I know, you have to hold that, you have to live in that apartment after getting the lottery for like at least five years or something. Mm -hmm. So you don't know if the apartment price is going to fluctuate or not, but mm -hmm. people like to think like, oh, I earned 500k because, yeah. you know, of yeah. that logic, yeah. Anyway, uh, wait, I had a comment. Uh, hey, Anna, do you have any fancy nightclub recommendations in Seoul? Thanks. Um, well, just anywhere in Apgujang, really, or Cheongdam, or I mean, a lot of the Koreans go to Gangnam. I never really partied there. I can recommend like Eagle Hype Times. If you like like hip hop lounge kind of vibes, those are the ones to go for. I don't really like the EDM ones, so those are the ones. So yeah, I hope that answered your question. I haven't really been going out much these days, to be honest with you, though. I haven't been partying much. So. And uh, just before we uh, go into the news. Thank you. Shout out. I think you got one too. Thank you to Donovan for the $25 yes. on PayPal. There's nothing to say just for appreciation. My man. I think you're a man. Thank <laughs> you, Donovan. My bro. My Hyung. Thank <laughs> you, Hyung Pizza, for the 25 on PayPal. PayPal is the best. People are making fun of how you're saying adjacent. Adjacent. What? Adjacent. Adjacent. Yeah. <laughs> adjacent. I've always pronounced it as I have some weird pronunciations. Even for pronunciation, I always go pronunciation, but I, apparently it's pronunciation. Pronunciation. I know that in my head. Uh -huh. And there's another weird word, uh, aesthetic. Yeah. You know how to pronounce it? Aesthetic. No, it's as aesthetic. It, it's supposed Whatever. to be e. It's aesthetic, but I always say aesthetic, and Whatever. people call out, call me out for saying aesthetic. There's a lot of weird words I have, but. Anyways. Bear with me. I, I learned my English when I was three and I came back to Korea for like 20 years now, so... <laughs> also, okay, before we go into the stories, my song of the week. Have my song, song of the week. My, yeah. The bop of the week for me. It's definitely been The Seraphim's Easy. Have you uh, heard? Yeah, yeah, I've they, heard. I, they have, already have good songs, I think. Yeah, The Seraphim, the Seraphim has, has good songs. songs. Yeah. yeah, and they really have the best like producers. I, I really like them. Mm. I think they're also really cute, all of them. They're cute. Yeah, yeah. And I think five members is like, it's like if I don't like groups that are like, you know, like AK48, like massively too. Mm. I think sometimes, like, don't hate me, 17 fans, but I think even 17 is too many really? members. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah just enough. Mm. <laughs> enough. Mm -hmm. Anyway, shall we do it with the first story? What should we talk about first? Well, speaking of idols. Yeah, okay, let's do Karina. <laughs> Now you have the reason why it's a very uh, depressing and sad day. Oh, that's why you were saying. That was your reason? Yeah. Because David likes Karina. <laughs> well, as you can see on the title of my stream, Korean oh. men are all heartbroken. 
it's National Mourning Day. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> it's national. It's a tragedy. Well, Karina was everyone's girl. I would have to say everyone's girl. Yeah. She belongs to. She belongs nobody. to all Korean men's hearts. Okay, so basically, uh, she's twenty-four. The guy is Yi Taewook. How did you know him before? No, but I don't want to know about he's, him. He's two years older. They met at a Milan fashion show. And there was I actually saw a video on Instagram of them meeting for the first time. Good for him. Apparently it was love at first sight. They fell in love at first sight Good with for each him. other. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, May he have a Milan. happy life. And um, yeah, nah, and they, she's been like hanging out around his house, around his neighborhood. Oh my they god. They go on drives. Oh my god. <laughs> David, stop being jealous. She, is not, she was never yours to begin with. She is if, never if, yours. If I can't have someone, <laughs> then nobody should. That's... To be honest, I don't know if he's super. I mean, he's good looking. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, he's handsome. I don't know what he's been in. He doesn't deserve. <laughs> and you do? <laughs> and no, you do? No, nobody deserves her. <laughs> nobody. Oh, so that's why you are sad. Uh, but I'm good for her. They should date. And yeah. No. <laughs> I do not approve this relationship. You guys know I'm kidding, right? I'm happy for them. Kidding, but, but not really kidding. Yeah. <gasps> <laughs> I mean, they look at their visuals. They make a good couple. They do. I'll be totally <laughs> honest. Karina can do better. I'm just kidding. Yeah, I I'm mean, just kidding. She can party, yeah, at her her level. He's kind of like, is he like B list? She's not even human. Yeah, yeah, really, she's, for real. She's in the gods tier, like AI. Whenever, yeah, even me as a female, as a woman, whenever I see a Karina real or like a TikTok pop up, I just like she seriously does not look like she, real. I've seen her reels about like you know how the deep fake AI is yeah. going on. So she looks like more AI than the deep fake AI. Yeah, they <laughs> deep faked her, and it was just her. Oh. Oh my God. Anyway, David being salty. Heard the lesbians are upset too. Come, come, all lesbians. Lesbians let's, are upset too. Let's all unite. <laughs> we are all mourning now. That is so funny. Oh, we lost a hope. Oh, people are telling me, oh, he's that guy in Alchemy of Souls. Okay, fine. He's an actor, great actor. <sighs> <laughs> My barber was definitely heartbroken. All the Korean males were crying. You were talking about yesterday. this to your barber? No, no, no. I'm oh, assuming. Okay. But. <laughs> No, what do you mean Karina is the lucky one? He's hot. I cannot agree to that. Mm. No. No. Karina is... I, I don't think anybody can top Karina in terms of visuals only in Korea. In like a uh, century. Mm. Period. Mm. Like Karina is, you know, just... I, I don't believe she's human. Yeah, yeah. She even, like, I admire her beauty whenever I see a reel it, or a it's TikTok. It's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Good for her. People should date, but obviously it's not gonna... Like, these. have you ever seen a K-pop relationship that lasts, like... For good, like they're gonna, they're I mean, just young people dating. Unless they just let them enjoy, unless themselves. they marry, like nothing. They're lasts. Not gonna, she's not gonna get married yeah, right now, yeah, no, so it doesn't last. No, I saw a comment on Instagram being like, Oh, yeah, and this will be done in like six months. Mm. Yeah, people are allowed to date and break up, and this is just what happens, mm. you know? Yeah, who's more popular in Korea, Jenny or Karina? I mean, in terms ah. of brand power, brand power, Jenny. Jenny, Jenny for sure, yeah, but in terms of like looks and visuals. And mass appeal, mm. I would think. Korea is way more up and coming. Jenny has been kind of around. I think for... Jenny's really hot among females. Oh, but the guys like Karina. Guys are like mixed about Jenny. I know a <laughs> lot of guys, including myself, seeing like I don't really see the appeal of Jenny. Like, but she's really hip. She's really trendy. She has that very Gen Z look. I do agree, and she has that brand power. But for like, in just just in terms of looks and appearance, mm. like. All Korean men would agree that Karina is like mm -hmm. up there, like number one. Like mm. anyway, anyway, good for them. They so, should date. <laughs> so nowadays, I think the the top two are Karina and Minji from New Jeans. Those really? are like the visual tops. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. What What do you disapprove? I have of? not seen any like online discourse about Minji. 
Oh my god, just Jin call Zhao. one guy you know and ask them who do you think are the top three I had three... a lot of Kazuha from the Sarah Kazuha Park. too, Kazuha yeah. too. Yeah. But like, who do you think are the top three visuals of Korea right now in terms of females? And they'll all say, I, I can guarantee. Actually, I watch a lot of those like street interviews. They were asking Korean guys, like, who's your Isang Yang? Mm. A lot of them say Kim Tae Oh yeah, uh, that, that's a cute Seraphim. figure. Yeah, that's, yeah. A, that's a more approachable figure, I would yeah. say. And a lot of them still say Park Bo Young. A lot of them. Um, yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> that's a cute, cute side. But like, I would say, like, yeah, you mentioned Kajua, mm. Minji, uh, Karina, and Chang Won Young. Those mm. might be like the top right now. <laughs> but Korea has always been crazy over visuals, so please understand my enthusiasm for visuals, okay? Guy Gadboy says, I'm hotter than he is, guys. Please validate my delusions. <laughs> We're just all very sad, so if you want to. Just ease in my sadness and depression. Paypal.com, paypal.me slash Korean Pizza Club. Okay. <laughs> Send $5 to uh, ease my sadness. Okay. Yeah. Okay, should we go to the next story? Yeah. I'll have two Good luck, Karina. I hope you the best. I wish you the best. I want to write, write a letter to her. Okay. Okay, <laughs> David. Okay, next story. Let's talk about the Jim Jilbang. Jimjibang, what's the Jimjibang? All the news today is brought by Anna. So yeah, I, I, I organized all the news <laughs> today. So, okay, so this video, let me refresh. What's going on? So she, this girl, is just like a fitness influencer, but she was in a Jimjibang, Korean sauna, okay. and she was in the bathroom, yeah. female bathroom, and then she said she suddenly looked up, mm -hmm. and like on the vent, she she looked up and she felt like she saw like a phone disappear. Okay. She saw like the outline of a phone and she thought that was obviously really weird. Oh, ew. Yeah. And so she was like, am I... So she started filming it. And then... So she went outside and she said... She tried to look at the toes. And she said she's a Pilates instructor. So she's had lots of experience looking at people's toes. And she's like, that is not female toes. Mm. That, that they were like too big to be female. And um, so she waited outside. The guy didn't come out for ages. Ages. And she was just kind of pretending like she had did, like left. And then he ended up eventually coming outside. Mm -hmm. So he was and basically. she confronted him. Yeah, she, he was basically filming. Yeah, the, this is illegal burka. Changing room. Yeah, not changing, but bathroom. Bathroom. So she's confronting him. In a ginger bum. Yeah. Oh my god. And she's like, being like, no tashika, like, you asshole, what are That's you doing? That's freaking gross. And by yeah. the looks of him, he looks pretty young. He's too. 22. 22? Yeah, so oh I can god. also play this YouTube video. I'll play without the sound. That is gross. Um. So that's how one? that's how going into the bathroom. Yeah. And and then eventually the police came and um apparently like he had already deleted the videos or whatever he took on his phone, but then the police Oh, so that's why he was taking a lot of time. He was deleting it. Well obviously, but then the police took him, they're like, We're gonna forensic this oh, and we yeah, can yeah. recover all the deleted right, files right. anyway, and then he ended up confessing. Uh-huh. Like yeah, and he's only twenty two. Why would you He's clearly a um like a like how do you say, like Incel? Sick. Yeah. I, I don't know. I think you just have to be sick to do these kind of deeds. Yeah, but like, she like just like held him in place and he tried to like run away and like being like, no, I didn't do anything. And wow, she's pretty... She's, she's feisty. Yeah. Yeah, but then she's like, when he, she was dragging him out the toilet, like everyone just like stared, but like nobody helped. Mm. Like they were just like watching. Yeah, people... And, but apparently he, um, especially in the sauna, that's like the not first time this has happened. Uh. And appara apparently he, this guy has had... Like, he's been accused of this kind of thing before. Oh, really? So it's not like a first time thing. Then he is sick. I he think needs he is to sick. be hospitalized. Yeah, yeah, he needs help, so. Um, Ew. Yeah, so he, he's taken into custody and. Well, good for her. Like, look at yeah. that. Wow. Yeah, so. I think, yeah, she could probably handle him. Yeah. <laughs> if she's a Pilates instructor and stuff, oh no, like, she has some core strength. Like, she could. That guy's a twig, you know. <laughs> she could probably single handedly, like, beat him. But that's kind of sad. I mean, how, it would be quite... The fact that this has happened before in this sauna. Yeah. That's... How does that happen? Because I remember when I went, like, they're usually super separated. All the toilets are, like, super inside, like, the where the sauna mm. actual bathtubs are. So that means, like, it's, like, really Yeah, relaxed. he snuck in. Yeah, he snuck into the Yeah, because bathroom. even the bathrooms are separate, separated. Yeah. Yeah. And that so space you're seeing right now is definitely like a female only space. Yeah, female I only, think. so Or maybe it's communal. I don't know, mm. but even me, like I 
if I go into like an old building, some mm. like old Korean like building, and I, sometimes I'm just like, oh, I don't want to pee in there. Mm. It just seems a bit gross. Well, first of all, it like can be really dingy and like a bit gross, but it's just like yeah. with this kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that's sad, but that was the news. Mm. And yeah. Yuck. Yuck. <laughs> How did this camera thing become a problem in Korea? Um. I don't know. I don't know, but I'm I'm kind of interested too because apparently it isn't a big problem in other countries. I think in Japan too. Yeah. So what is keeping toms? Why is it that this region geologically and like, like why would you want a video of someone peeing or pooping? That's what I don't understand. Like I can't locate the roots, like the motive of why isn't Korea, that Japan, so gross? And like even if you're filming, if you're filming from high up, all you can see is like her head, and like if she's just sitting on that, yeah, like yeah. you can't see anything. Yeah, yeah. What do you want out yeah. of that video? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But I, I'm just curious, like, if other countries don't have hidden camera crimes at all, because like, I think maybe you... maybe because porn is blocked in Korea. In other countries, there's abundance of material. But how does that go to like? How does Porn having blocked have a correlation to going to bathrooms and you know. Well, maybe they just that's like the only way they can feel like they have some sort of excitement. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> well, it's like for Japan though, like that doesn't apply because, yeah, because Japan's like porn. the number one porn yeah, industry. Yeah. So that might be like a different approach because J Japan's like okay, no no offense to Japan, but Japan's porn industry is very super developed. And then there's a lot of pervs there too because yeah. of that. Yeah. Very weird kinks and niches and perverts. Well, okay, may, okay. That could develop into this kind of perverted behavior. But mm. for Korea, we don't even have porn. Maybe it's like the bipolar, like op, like the polar opposite. Mm. I don't know. Mm. Sex being overly tabooed can cause odd behavior, but sex being overly promoted and <laughs> perverted could. Yeah, I, I honestly don't know the reason. I can't tell you the reason. I have no idea. Why. Yeah. Wait, somebody said, uh, in America, he just has to say he's transgender and he gets a pass. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, that like, was the... So I'm always like, Donovan says, like, I think it happens all over the world. Yeah, I, my thoughts are that too. Mm -hmm. But maybe it's just like published, you know, like on news, on the news or like... Mm -hmm. um, in Korea, mostly? I don't know. Upskirting is a big issue because so many women wear skirts. The crowded trains and buses make it easy for pervs to take pics. Yeah. I would think it would be a universal issue because, like, population-wise, there has to be more pervs in, like, bigger continents than Korea. So, I don't know. Just statistically speaking. Anyway, shall we do the next story? Mm. Okay. okay. Um... The Starfield Mall thing. This is kind of sad. A woman in her 50s, I think almost 60, she dies in a bungee jump accident at Starfield Shopping Mall. Oh no. Yeah. So um, it's basically like a fun activity. It's like one of the most popular attractions there. Yeah, yeah. And uh, apparently it's usually really, really safe and you're like, you know, like safety geared up. But um, having despite worn safety gear, the woman did not have a carabiner, a crucial safety ring attached. This mm -hmm. oversight led to a fatal 8 meter, 26 foot fall to the concrete floor below, resulting in the woman entering a state of cardiac arrest and then she died. Um, and if they can, they're going to investigate and they could definitely sue the management with manslaughter if they find evidence of negligence. I mean, if mm. they forgot to attach the parts, that kind of seems like negligence to me. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So they're going to get in trouble for that. And, um, yeah, I feel bad for the lady. Hmm. That's a bad way to go, I think. That is a very bad and random Have you ever tried one of those bungee things? Uh, no, but I don't intend to after hearing this news. <laughs> I mean, that's really bad negligence. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I, I really wanted to try bungee jumping. Yeah, me too. It's on my bucket list. Yeah, but after hearing this, yeah. I've always, like watching those videos, I've always been very anxious about like whether those, you know, the, the facilities would be old or like mm -hmm. whether it's actually safe or not. But apparently it's not. It's not, it's not safe. Yeah. 
where people are like fighting. <laughs> Why are people fighting? Perverts everywhere. Uh, transgender people tend to leave people alone in bathrooms. You shouldn't be saying stuff like that. Uh. <laughs> that kind of thing. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, shall we give an update on the doctor's story? Okay. Has your friend, your friend, doctor friend, said anything more since then? Uh, he's on strike. Is he? He's actually yeah. on strike. Yeah, yeah. But okay, basically, you guys know, last week we talked about like, the doctors striking in Korea. The, the general consensus is that everyone just hates them. Everyone thinks they're being super selfish, they're being super greedy for money. Yep. Like, why are they, like, literally, um, people can't, people who are sick, they need operations, they can't. Mm -hmm. People are actually having actual physical ailments and like just because these doctors are like no no we're gonna strike all the interns are quitting mm -hmm. um there was one statistic here that said um what was it so the government have yeah is giving all the doctors till thursday which is tomorrow yeah. ultimatum to return otherwise they're gonna lose their licenses mm -hmm. um so is he gonna stick to his strike oh i think everybody is going to stick to their strike really? because uh there's like the government can't do anything if all the doctors or, you know, uh, if all the doctors just decide to not mm. go back to work, you know, mm. if, even if they cancel all their licenses, like, mm -hmm. who's going to keep on and maintain society, right? So as of Friday, more than 10,000 junior doctors or 80% of the country's total have handed in resignation letters at 100 training hospitals, while 9,000 of them stayed off work. Um, a lot of the students are quitting, medical students are quitting. Starting in March, the suspension of doctor's licenses for a minimum of three months will become unavoidable for those who fail to return under the law. Um, they can affect your future career paths, blah, blah, blah. But it's like really having an impact in Korea yeah. right now. I've heard some very, uh, some patients that are in crucial state yeah. have already a cardiac arrest patient in mm, her 80s died. in Daejeon died over the weekend after being refused admission to the emergency room by seven hospitals due to a lack of beds, an absence of specialists and medical staff, and inability to treat, treat critically ill patients. Mm. I really think, I'm sorry, I think they're being super selfish. Mm. And I, I'm actually, even if he's your friend, I yeah, think yeah, they yeah, are. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. And apparently, I've seen like a list, like compared to all the OECD con mm. countries in the world, Korean doctors get paid the most. Yeah, yeah. In comparison to the mm -hmm. in relative in comparison to the other countries so mm -hmm. they're already the richest people in the country yeah but there's still the fact that the government won two thousand more spots for them mm. i think like why can't they just let that happen especially in like the more rural areas of korea they need doctors yeah they are being super selfish right what yeah. they're saying is um that the two thousand increase is too sudden you need to do it gradually and you need to do it with communication with the doctors association not the government by itself because you know the the lack of quality the lack of infra infrastructure the lack of educational personnel and all that kind of stuff and you need to talk about the compensations and the policies with the doctors but the government right now is just doing it by themselves so the doctor association is like we can't approve that this is like bs like you didn't even consult with us or anything so in in the end we are doing this for the country that's their cause uh, apparently on the front but a lot of people are saying that it's for their own selfishness they're afraid that their um their salaries or uh payments are gonna get cut stuff like that but um I really don't think it, that it's a very unique situation because for all the other professions in the world if you go on strike it doesn't deal with a human lives being no, it's uh, actually like, human lives being affected yeah yeah being yeah. affected right but like what the doctors are saying here are like um why do we have to be put on those standards when all the other professions in the world can go on strike well, i'm sorry but that's you you literally I have know. to take the earth when right, you become a doctor right, right, i right. take responsibility to look after right and try to not any let humans die so they take that earth i know i i understand totally but they're saying like then when do we get our rights does this mean because human lives are on, you know, on so, risk that we there... don't have to, we don't get any rights or we don't have any chance in like centuries to like pro protest and stuff? So but that's what they're saying. Does, do this their... is not my opinion, okay? <laughs> don't argue with me, yeah. Do their salaries actually take a hit if 2,000 uh, more spots open in the medical schools? 
Do the I salaries would, actually take a hit? I would think so because everything's supply and demand, right? But like you said, there are no, like no doctors in like the rural parts of Korea. Everyone like has to go to the bigger cities, and mm. everyone's open, becoming a plastic surgeon or uh, becoming opening a skin clinic or whatever. Mm -hmm. I don't really don't think that's gonna. We make... we don't know what's going to happen. We don't know, but according to the doctors, it's gonna go downhill from now. But yeah. yeah. So I so the deadline is tomorrow. We'll see what happens tomorrow. But yeah, I've heard a lot of my like friends talk about this too. Yeah, I I mean I've heard some like very uh, candid speeches from the doctors, like in blind communities and what stuff. Did, what Anonymous. did they say? What did they say? They're like, just because we took the oath, yeah, doesn't mean like we're normal human beings too. We have our I mean, own I get life. That. We own have we have our own livelihoods. We have our own labor rights. We have stuff. But just because. The whole country is gaslighting us with patients' lives. Doesn't mean that we don't have this equal rights with other laborers and workers and employees and stuff. It does. It's not fair for just just to like blame shame like shame us because of this. So mm. yeah, I understand both sides. Mm. I think the government should be like in the middle, mediating a little bit more aggressively. But the government's just like. Blocking they're, everything. They're, being they're very hard. They're just like, yeah, whatever. We'll just, yeah. They're actually condemning. Cancel all your licenses. Yeah, yeah. Like the president and all the board, they're like condemning the doctors. They're mm. like, you're so irresponsible. You're completely just like, you know, ruining everybody's yeah. thingies. I mean, yeah, it's, it's a hard situation. So it's mm. it'll be interesting it, to see what happens. It's like Chandler says, they can protest just in a different way. So there's a, there's a lot of like debate on like the methodologies of protesting and whether that has effect or not, right? So that's why a lot of people use like shock, ther shock therapy, tactics. shock tactics not and therapy. stuff um, and mirroring and all that kind of stuff. But one very similar example was for the disabled people in Korea. Nobody listened to them because they're minorities. Their, their mm. needs are not essential to society, but they're having such a tough life to live in Korea. So all the disabled people, the organization, agreed to go on like a strike or a protest. And the, meth the method they took was to, you know, uh, do like guerrilla attacks on subways, subways subways yeah so they would go with their wheelchairs and like you know blind people would like you know block the yeah make a like havoc on the everyone's yeah 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 so they would just uh place their wheelchairs in the door so that the subways don't start and now then people started you know acknowledging the mm. needs and their voices mm. so i feel like in this in this situation too the doctors are like outnumbered right the mm. whole country is like you guys are the bad ones. Mm. You you should, you you are not looking over lives. You're you're just doing this for your money, and mm. people aren't listening to them. So they're like, you know, we have yeah. no other choice. It doesn't help. They're like the richest people in the country. So yeah, people yeah. Are like we're supposed if, to feel if sorry they for just, you. If they just yeah, if they just go on treating the patients, then nobody's gonna listen anyways. Like mm. oh, they're just doing their job. Like you know, let them be. So I I get both points, but it's a very tricky situation. Yeah. Someone said, why do Koreans protest everything, Lumao? Well, I don't think... We're a free democratic country with the right to protest. Yeah, I think Koreans are on <laughs> the, the, like the tame side. Like, <laughs> go to France or America, yeah, you know. Yeah, like, there's a strike every week. Yeah. Thank you, Patrick. Uh, medical administrators do not take that oath, and they exploit the good-natured and giving medical professionals. For admin, it's all about money, and doctors are simply revenue-generating assets. Uh, for admin, it's all about money and doctors are simply revenue generating assets. I mean, the thing is, but they do like the job itself. They're like they are like, you know, helping people. Yeah. Definitely. Mm. But I don't know. I don't know what the solution to this e is either. I don't know. I think the I think the government's just gonna push through. And yeah, they're not gonna let down on this. Yeah, and the doctors are just gonna continue. Their licenses are gonna just yeah, be revoked. No, revoked, but also but like recovered too, and. It's just gonna go on like this, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I have like grandma who's very sick all the time, so it's this a bit concerning. Yeah, my yeah. grandma is yeah, in the your, ICU your too. Your grandma's but, too. Mm. Anyway, <laughs> hopefully we can have a solution by next week. Yeah. Next week. Um. Okay. The, this one I think was pretty funny. What? Next story. Which one? Patients of seven. Sorry, parents of seven kids first to receive uh, uh, 10 million won 
for child birth and so. How much yeah. is ten million? Ten million. Ten million. That's like that's not much. That's like in in USD, it's like ten thousand. Ten k. Yeah. So a young couple who recently welcomed their seventh child became the first family in Seoul to re receive a ten million one, yeah, seven thousand five hundred k subsidy for burying multiple children. The district's office said of Jungu said um, it had delivered. Chun Hye He and her husband to Young Seok both twi that the parents are 28 years old. The cash incentive for couples who've had at least five children. The district office last year increased the incentives for couples who have five children or more from five million one to ten million one. <laughs> this couple was the first recipient of the new policy in the district and was the first couple living in Seoul to receive ten million one for multiple childbirths. Do you think this is a good idea? <laughs> yeah. It is. Yeah, because. But are there seven we... kids gonna have a good life? Do you think it's, it's responsible to have that many kids? I know when you're 28 years old. Well, as long as you're responsible and you can, you have confidence that you can I raise them with love. I have mixed feelings on this. I mean, in the old days, everybody had like five kids, six kids, seven kids. Mm. Like my family, even if you go out to my grandfather's generation, they at average have like more than three to five kids. Yeah, so. I have a feeling those children aren't going to be raised right. Um, yeah, that could be... And that, that's, that's not enough money. That's true as well. That's really not enough money at that all. You can spend that in like a month. Yeah. Yeah. True. That's I... really not much money. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it's better than... Nothing, nothing yeah. I guess. Uh, but I can't imagine having like six siblings. Mm. You cannot... Like, I mean, yeah, the Kardashians have, but they can afford it. Yeah. And like in the UK as well, there's also like a similar sort of thing where like a child... What do you call it? Benefits. Mm. Uh, benefits for single moms, I guess, who they need more help. And then that kind of um, breeds this culture of like, okay, I'll, I just won't get any job. I'll just keep having more kids mm. instead. Because mm -hmm. they get the benefit. It's like monthly. It's not much, but it's like, okay, I have this monthly income. Mm. Rather than me, I've been going like hustle yeah, for a job. Yeah, and you don't use the funds in like proper places yeah. and like nourishing your child. Yeah, but, like, you, use you it spend it on like drinking also. or whatever. Like yeah. it can be really. I think the government should give it in like vouchers that are only applicable to the... like spend on the kids, mm -hmm. powder, milk, and whatever yeah, yeah. diapers. Yeah. Yeah. Korea needs the kids. <laughs> but from what I heard, like the newlywed couples that I know, um, they all have kids now and. The government money is actually helpful. Really helpful to them. Mm. They're like they don't have to worry about like diapers or powder or anything. But that that uh, that case is really um, like anomaly. Yeah, like no, but no fine. couple in Korea is gonna have five kids. Yeah, exactly. Sorry, no, no couple in exactly. Korea these days gonna and have five kids. Like not to judge, but uh, maybe I am judging. But like <laughs> looking at the picture and the interior of the background, it doesn't look like a very well furnished or nice. No, they're home. gonna grow up hard. Like yeah, it's gonna like, be a hustle. If you don't, if you have seven kids, you need space. You need to be like the Kardashians. I'm sorry. Like, you need... Not the Kadar Kardashians. <laughs> Kardashians. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> but, like, yeah, just a nice, decent house yeah. would be good. But, like, the background doesn't look that well. No. Good. Okay. They're, they're all going to look after each other, I guess. Yeah. But I, I do... I do advocate this policy though, giving out money to people having kids because mm. our country really needs to do whatever we can. While I don't think giving out money is like the long-term solution, mm. in the short term at least it's giving like more help to the mm. actual... Is course. the 7,500 one-time payment or monthly? Um, monthly, monthly. It's monthly. Yeah. Oh, okay, fine. Uh, Donovan sent another 25 pizza. Thank you. I'm American, but on the subject of this strike, I vote Hyunjin and Joy for hotness. What? Hyunjin from Le Seraphim. Yeah, and Joy okay. from Red Velvet. Okay, okay. <laughs> nice opinion. Yeah. <laughs> um, again, maybe what could Anna, David and Anna do to help Korea's birth rate? Uh, get a child? <laughs> you want to make a child? Recently, I saw a, 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 a play, okay. and the play's theme, it's a very recent play, and the play's theme was uh, getting a fake marriage to get accepted. Uh, one person wants to be a police officer, one person wants to be like a teacher, and for national exams, apparently there is extra points if you're a newlywed couple. And you can apply for like newlywed couple houses and stuff. So there are a lot of benefits uh, in the public sector. So these two uh, people who are studying for both of their respective exams meet each other. And they're like, you know what? We've flunked the test for like four years in a row. This is my last chance. It's, you know, it's make it or 
whatever. And they 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 decide to go into a fake marriage. Okay. They live together and they they keep it a secret from everyone else. Okay. And and of course it's because it's a play like romance like you know flowers out from the 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 fake marriage but just the fact that modern plays and recent plays are making this a theme like getting fake mm. marriages for points to become teachers and public That's officers and getting houses it says something you went to see a play yeah recently yeah oh <laughs> With who? With who? <laughs> you're gonna, I know what of you're going Of course gonna, that's the next question. By myself. With who? I'm a man of culture. David, I know you. You're not going to go see a play by I'm yourself. A, I'm a man of culture. No, no, My no, no, sub-major no. was know English you. literature. You are not mm. going to go by yourself to do this. No way. I was going to assess society's problems and, you know, contemplate on... T yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Um... My parents are the oldest of their siblings of seven and they still have trauma and family drama from it. Ooh, mm. I can't imagine. Yeah. I mean, you're an only child. You don't even have a sibling. Yeah. Yeah. I Can wish you... I had a sibling. Mm. Not because of loneliness, because, uh, but because of like, I didn't want all, my mom's full attention. But some people want the parents' no, full attention. No, 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 no. <laughs> I assure you that is not good. <laughs> like, you know, it's unhealthy. Mm. Anyway, I mean, I'm glad I, I mean, yeah, I do like, I did like having a brother growing up, especially when you're young kids. You have no, but like, we just used to like play fight and just like, you know, play with toys. And I think it's, it is fun when you're younger. Yeah. But when we got into like our teenager years, we would just like, we would also have really bad fights. Mm. Like but terrible think, fights. Like seeing my friends who have siblings, after they become adults, of course, your lives are like individual, but yeah. in very important cases in like family yeah you come through for your family exactly yeah you can depend on each other yeah. and you have someone to lean on anna do you have siblings yes i have a brother he's in some of my videos <laughs> some mm. with his face blurred down <laughs> yeah but i also was i had a sister i think i want as a girl i want a sister so we can share clothes share makeup if i had Me and my a brother have no common interests uh, yeah if i had a younger sister i would have like you know Gave all my love to her. That's what people say. Yeah. yeah. She would be so adorable and cute. Like, I would take care of her, buy her all the good stuff. You know? And it's like, there's this family thing where it's like, yeah, I can like diss my brother all I want. I can say like the most horrible stuff to him, but only I can. Mm. If I hear other people like I are doing that, like shitting on my brother, then I will defend him to the, mm. like, ride or die. To the, That's just like, you know, you do what you do for your family. Yeah, yeah. I guess. Yeah. Fast and furious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> If I had a younger brother though, and he was being a menace, I would kick the shit out of him. That's what most you do. Beat the <laughs> shit out of him, lock him in his room, get out my belt strap. <laughs> Just kidding. Do you know who I'm most jealous of? Um, Harper Beckham. She has three older brothers older than her. She's okay. the younger. She's the baby, the mm. girl. Of the she must. She gets love from her dad, her parents, all her older brothers all the time. She's spoiled, rotten. Oh. Imagine yeah, being a Beckham. If you're spoiled, you need some cane. <laughs> Like we talked about last stream about discipline. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You guys. It's all about good with younger siblings. siblings until they break your stuff. Yeah, imagine my younger sibling breaking a camera or my computer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, get out my belt. <laughs> don't don't beat anyone up. Okay, next story, the digital nomad thing. Okay. So for those of you who are maybe possibly interested in coming to Korea, just know that there is this thing called a digital nomad visa. Only seven people applied since January. Wow. Um, so basically what it is, it's like no no freelancers are allowed on this visa. Really? Yes, no what? freelancers. What's the point then? So it's, it's possible for foreigners to work remotely in Korea. They must be employed at a company abroad, working remotely for their company. Applying for a job within Korea is strictly prohibited. This visa allows a one-year stay, which can be extended for another year or to for a to total two years stay. Um, one obstacle is that the visa isn't yet currently open to freelancers who make a large portion of the digital nomad population and this the income uh, income requirement was like 69k I mm -hmm. believe. Where does it say? Uh, 69k that's pretty high. It's pretty high. Yeah 64k 
What? 85 million won, 64k US. Or this above. is a useless visa then. So they, I think they want to attract people who are like working in tech, like AI or uh. software engineer. They want those the rich spenders to come and oh obviously spend your year in Korea, that spend your hard earned dollars in Korea. They don't want like the poor backpacking digital nomads. Yeah, that's the original yeah. term what <laughs> refers to digital yeah. nomads. That, these people are just like foreign, you know. Mm. Uh, someone said, the spokesperson said, we do know the visa has been on trial run since January, but there are many requirements like the minimum income of 85 million won that makes the visa target high income earners, and there hasn't been inquiries of foreigners currently employed abroad uh, that want to use our vacation centers. Um, so yeah, they only want to attract those kind of people, but only seven people have applied. So. Oh my god, I, I know Japan so... Japan also, uh. Japan also, they have a similar, they launched a similar scheme, uh, require animal income of 60, 67 to allow a six month stay. So yeah, it's no surprise. That that, that is basically a useless visa. <laughs> For all the foreigners that were, you know, looking forward to this visa, I know around me, yeah. they're like, oh, I can finally extend my stay here. Like, you know, I'm actually, you know, working uh, so technically and YouTubers and people who yeah, like, yeah, do that. Exactly. Can't. So YouTubers were really mm. excited about this, but like, if you're not associated you not say, with the company- you not say you're employed at Google? <laughs> If you're no, a YouTuber, no. no. <laughs> yeah. No. You have to be employed on an Make actual... Make a paper company and then and just, get paid by through that company. Yeah, Six, yeah. But still, you'd have to get paid 69k. 69k a year. That's a lot. Yeah, that's pretty high. Yeah. yeah. Donovan says 69k is not a lot. Well... It depends on what profession you are in, obviously. 69k but. in Korea, that would be... I mean, in the US, yeah, it might be not be much. Manon, Kuchon, that's like Samsung level. That's like that's really like you're on the upper, upper 10% of mm. like salaries in Korea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, in Korea, obviously, cost of living is less. And yes, people earn more in general in the US, so maybe you can. But other countries, you know, that is a pretty high. That's very high. High income. Yeah. yeah that's top tier here. So they don't want just like any bums coming in. <laughs> they oh want like God. actually. Are you saying poor people are bums? Just like people. Wow, like, Anna. Like classist. just like freelance bums. <laughs> like us, guess, I guess. Okay. <laughs> are you calling me a bum? <laughs> I'm calling myself a bum. <laughs> it's like a dated visa. So many people that move away work on laptops. Who would go to all that effort for a one year visa? I guess so. But Japan's is six months. Early. 69k is average in the US, 75k is the median household income in Los Angeles. If you guys are living in Los Angeles and you have a median income of 75k, please spare $5 to PayPal top me slash Korean Pizza Club. We really need it in this third world country. Medium household, is that just for one person? In that's crazy LA? if that's a median. Just for one person household. But LA, yeah, it's like one of the richest. That's crazy. 69K is average. Yeah, but the US is different to us, David. Well, you Thank gotta you really send that super chat then. <laughs> Thank you, Patrick. <laughs> no so, excuse. what you're saying is, as a foreigner, I should put this visa in my dating profile. Maybe it can be a flex. What, what? He's saying, what? So, you're saying, as a foreigner, I should put uh, this visa the, in my dating I'm profile? I'm under the digital visa. Yeah, uh, maybe, because it, it is a flex, I guess, to be like, I have this visa. <laughs> yeah, maybe it is. Oh, he earns more than 69K. Uh, people say, oh, if people agree, like, say, is that a lot of money? Really? Let's tell That's them. That's a lot of money. Okay, let's. What you. is the average average income? So in Korea? according to Art, Art, that's two point five x of the Can average you, Korean you, you. yearly salary. That's two point five x of two point five x. Yeah, that's like thirty five k. Thirty two to thirty five k USD. So it's like yeah. 2 that is the average income in Korea, guys. All of my friends earn that much right now. Yeah, that's the average. And they're in like Samsung, LG, and Hyundai. Yeah. But also you have to remember, yeah, the cost of living and everything is cheaper in Korea. So it's kind of relative to your income. Nowadays, I don't think even... But houses are extortionate. Like, it's like yeah. over a million to buy a house. So I've, I've like... been to the US a lot of times last year. And besides tipping, the, the living cost was similar. Was similar, yeah. yeah. Like eating out and... The tipping is what adds up, like the 20%. And 20%. also, you, I mean, paying rent and stuff, that's way more expensive. Yeah, oh, rent, yes. rent, yeah, yeah. Rent course. is, like, cost of living there is yeah, way right, more expensive, right. yeah. Yeah, rent is the biggest And transportation. Chunk. Yeah, but if you like eat out, eating out costs or, like, groceries and all that kind of the, the daily life stuff, it wasn't that far off. Mm. Yeah. So... 
Yay! My Korean American friends make 5x that much. Wow. Wow. I, I, I need to marry a Korean American. <laughs> no, like, do you know anybody around me? Like, sugar mommies? Please come in. Uh, Nguyen Tuan, thank you for the $10. 75k is really not a lot in LA after tax. Everything mm. is so. What? I, but LA is one of the most expensive cities. LA fam. Not many people can live in LA. Please help out this poor Korean It's like dude. New York as well. Yeah, LA, New York. Yeah. Um, That's crazy. In the domain I work, 80 to 90K is standard, either in US or Canada. Yeah, seriously, it obviously depends on what uh, industry you're in. If you're in STEM, you're going to you're gonna earn more. Damn, um, I should get a job in LA or the US and then work remotely. That would be... Wow, that would be so Work good. remotely. Yeah. But then you, all your money will be going on rent. No, 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 no. I should get a job oh, that that's US-based and then work in Korea. How would that work? You're not American. So well, technically, I'm doing that right now. Yeah, but, but it's you're a, not... It's not like a highly paid job, but that's still very juicy. That's what Jason is doing. You know, Jason J. Bros, he was in one of my videos. He's been working remotely from his US company, but uh, living in Korea right mm -hmm. now. He said his money goes like double. Mm. His money goes for twice as long mm -hmm. living here than how he would yeah, in like, New York. Yeah, yeah. Damn, should I marry Jason? <laughs> he, you need to ask him first and say. Well, oh, we get need gay agree. marriage rights first here. I asked him to come on a live stream. He said he would. Okay, so, okay. Yeah, one time we'll have him. Yeah, Iguana House, a Seattle median household income hits 115k yeah, in 2023. Yeah. David, you need to upgrade your haircut to attract those sugar mamas. Hey, <laughs> sugar mamas out there. DM. Uh, Tom, thank you, says 75k doesn't go far in LA, average rent 4,800. That's also, um, people in Korea complain about like rent prices, being like, oh, it's getting more expensive, more expensive. I pay kushin manon, which is like, it's That's still not $800. much. $800. $800 for my, my studio, uh, my loft apartment. And even compared to my tiny, um, studio flat in London is still like not even half. Mm. Yeah, so I yeah, and rent compared to the other places in the world, Korea is still super cheap. Yeah, but it's only Koreans who haven't ventured outside living. They're like, oh, but Korean rent is getting more and more expensive. It's mm. getting really bad. But yeah, but that is like the literal co average media um, income in Korea, guys. That is the truth. Mm. So <laughs> yeah, David is a mess. Yes, Why? let me be a mess and be rich and funded a by a mess, soup mess, sugar mess, mama. Mess, mess. <laughs> you want to go to a state with lower taxes. I've had people, yeah, who were originally living in California and then they move out, they go to Vegas or Texas mm. because of the tax. Mm. Even the really rich people, yeah. Or you can live in Southeast Asia and then your money goes even further. That's another solution. That's true. Yeah. A lot of people Thailand. do that. Yeah. yeah, we can see why, like, these digital nomads that have jobs in America or, like, the West go to Bali and live like kings over there. Yeah, if I, if I were living in the West and I had the option to go to, like, live in Asia, yeah, I would obviously I would go to, like, Bali or Thailand. Why would definitely. I come to live in Korea? No offense to our yeah. country, but, like, why would I, that's, what, what would attract me to well, come Korea, here? Well, Korea, I would say Korea is a good option, too, because it's safe, it has a lot of stuff to do, it's Yeah, but fun, I would be on a, a of... beach, like... Like Beaches get boring after like three three weeks, <laughs> you know. Yeah, so th I thought that was interesting. Only seven people applied. So if you if you can get that requirement, I guess try applying. But we can talk about this. Mm -hmm. This kind of is a segue. The cost of weddings in Korea is it appropriate? No, it's not. <laughs> That's my answer. So, spending fifty four k standard for Korean weddings. Netizens debate the appropriate cost of a wedding. A male office worker who is preparing for his wedding turned to an online community to gauge opinions about the estimated cost of his upcoming new pitals. So basically, it's going to become approximately 54 US, uh, 54k USD. Um, opinions range from it's appropriate and it's way too much and you should spend even more. Um, someone said, does this mean you can only get married if you spend that much on the wedding? Is that why the birth rate is still relatively high at 0 0.6? Um, this was on the online community blind. Mm. And um, I'm organizing my finances for the wedding, but it's too much money for me and asking if this was normal. He also attached a detailed breakdown of expected expenses. Uh, he's going to spend 17K on a wedding hall, um, about 2K on a Jeju wedding pictorial, including photos, airfare, accommodation, about uh, another 2K on wedding rings and about 
2700 uh, 2, on studio makeup, dress makeup. In addition, he allocated a budget of about uh, 23 million won for home appliances and furniture and about 9k for a honeymoon, bringing the total cost to the wedding of 54k. Uh, regarding the wedding cost, 48% of the office workers who voted said it was too much. On the other hand, 36% it was saying it was just right, and 16% said it was too low. Um, this is about average. The cost of living has risen a lot. Those who voted that it's too much are probably the people who got married a long time ago. Um, that could that's like probably true. And these are people who are like with good jobs as well, um, employed at like the like Samsung, Hyundai, this kind of thing. Yeah, like the wedding costs have gone out of control, and I think Koreans having like it, it's all tied to like the luxury craze yeah, and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like people have, there's a lot of fakeness here. Yeah, it's all to off. like yeah, keep up with the Joneses. Yes, so it's not really my wedding has to be the best. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, like it's a it's a two hour event. Sometimes like, not even that, yeah. No offense, like, but you're not the center of the world. Of course, in your wedding, you are, but you're not the king of England, you know? Like, why do you have to spend that much money when you're just being with your lover and celebrating with your friends and family? Yeah. It can be small, but, like, Korean weddings are so transactional yeah. and so, like, monetary and so, like, superficial. Yeah. It kind of sickens me out, like, yeah. whenever I go to a wedding. Yeah. I'm going to a wedding this weekend with my friends. <laughs> and you always have to like, oh, pay like the congratulatory fees, like... Yeah, this is the really a different, different thing about Korean weddings. You have to give them a cash gift. Yeah. You can't attend otherwise. And people keep track on a book who, who has, gave you yeah. this much yeah. and that much. And yeah. then when you go back to that person's wedding, you have to pay the same exact amount. Yeah. I don't know why they do this, but like... So to be honest, yeah, even if it's 54k, a lot of... You can make maybe even half back. It, it's a business, kids. yeah. Yeah. People, some so, people you make even more. Yeah, so that's why they want to try to invite as many people as possible so yeah. that you can get more cash gifts and then you that pays off at least like half of the wedding. Yeah. And then like, uh, yeah, you try, and then sometimes you have people, it, this kind of makes me sad. Sometimes I have like people who I've not spoken to in like five more years mm -hmm. and then suddenly they're like, oh, I'm getting married. Yeah. I really want you to come. And it's just like, we're not even close. Uh, and you're just inviting me because you want cash. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, literally. Exactly. And that makes me feel sad. Yeah. Like, we're not even, we don't even have a relationship. Nowadays, people just send you virtual messages on Kakao Talk. And yeah, then they're like, invitation. we're having a wedding. Yeah. Like, show your appreciation through this, like, bank account. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. But this is how it is in Korean weddings. And like everyone says, even in, everyone in the US saying it's so expensive, that's insane. Yeah, so come, like if we just told you like the average income in Korea, mm -hmm. but people are spending that much on weddings, it's really... <laughs> it's so like... It's just, yeah, it's but crazy. I, I'm going to say this, like, please don't call me misogynistic, <laughs> but I would say like women, mostly women are to blame on this trend specifically. The wedding thing? Because guys don't care about Guys that. do not yeah. care about weddings. Yeah. It's mostly the women do that, that care about the bridal showers, mm. the dress, the location. Mm -hmm. it, it has to be JW Marriott or Hyatt <laughs> Hotel or yeah. whatever. The, the hotel also matters. It can't be like a, a commoner's buffet thing. It no. has to be course meals yeah. with like seven, like, I don't know, omakases or yeah. whatever. Yeah. And then you have to like have a photo zone. You have to have top Even notch the, hanboks for your parents. and. We call it sudeme, so like the studio dress and makeup. makeup yeah. That is also, um, I saw this TikTok of a, um, someone saying, in Korea, nobody buys their wedding dresses, right? Because you only wear it, like everyone just rents them. Yeah. But you obviously rent like expensive, like Oscar de la Renta, or like designer label dresses. So there's all these like wedding dress shops in Cheongdam and stuff. Um, and for people, there's obviously varying different like tiers of wedding dress and how expensive and how couture it is. Mm. Apparently, people who rent these dresses, it can cost like, 10k right yeah. and the book if you're the first one to ever wear this dress it's called um taking off the tag mm. so if, if you rent a dress that maybe like you know 10 other brides have worn before then it's yeah. gonna be it's gonna be cheaper. cheaper but then if you're like the first person to get this new dress and take the tag off that also has a premium another more like several thousand on top of that just to borrow this dress for yeah. this one day and nobody even knows what the label is or like mm. who it's made by like but people really care about that and then women like bridesmaids or like sorry the bride-to-be they will post onto their instagram yeah. oh i'm the first tag 
Mm. I'm the first dress wearer. Yeah, so the it's end, like a flex. The end goal is flexing it's to flexing their friends. To put it on Instagram. It's yeah. like I did I did my wedding in this hotel. Yeah. We had this course meal. Yeah. I wore this wedding dress. And that all evaporates in like yeah. a year. And yeah. that's hard earned money. Yeah. I don't understand the value of it. Maybe we have different mindsets. Yeah. But okay, for a ring, I understand. Like I could get you a good solid rock. That would but also, this is a different thing in Korea. You guys know, if you get married in the West, you get like definitely a wedding engagement ring. Yeah, yeah. In Korea, it's not so common because people are like, I am not going to usually wearing a diamond on my mm -hmm. on my hand for like. They don't think it's like no, most people just don't wear it. Mm -hmm. They they much rather get like a luxury watch, like a Rolex or mm -hmm. like a, like a Chanel handbag. Yeah, yeah. Much more people gift those kind of things as like the wedding gift rather than getting a. They might get a wedding band, but not like an actual engagement rock, like a diamond mm -hmm. engagement ring. It's really less common here. Yeah. Most people get a watch or a bag mm -hmm. instead. Right. So that's also a cultural difference. Yeah. yeah. So I think really like not just the bride, but the parents too. The parents are trying to keep up with their social status too. They yeah. invite their like friends and well, like literally any relatives single acquaintance of, they've made over yeah, the years. It's They're like kind of like a business. And it like, is a business. It's like we rented out this hotel. Like yeah. look how successful my yeah. daughter or my son is. Yeah. So the, the parents, the bride, they're trying to fulfill their like, I don't know, social status, fantasies and all that kind of stuff. Mm. And it just goes poof in a day. And I don't, I don't believe that's like the true essence of a, a wedding. You yeah. know, it's about the, the true love, like yeah. getting locked forever. Like you, yeah. you need to celebrate that moment, but instead you're like, you know, uh, what do you call it? You're bothered by all these people and relationships yeah. and like transactions. It's really a business day. It's really business. Really business day. And you don't, e you're so busy, you don't even realize who you're saying like hi, hi to. to. Like yeah. you know, taking pictures here and there, going to these tables and saying hi. Yeah. It's like so, so hectic. Like I really, really ab her mm. Korean weddings. Uh, thank you, Chenami, again for gifting memberships. Um, yeah, I think it's crazy. Uh, people are asking me, would I spend this much on a wedding? I don't want to. Who wants to spend that much on a wedding? Yeah. Who wants to? Um, even my dad was like, he yeah. Even he doesn't like this culture because obviously my dad had to had to attend so many weddings over mm -hmm. the years, and he was just like, I think it's become actually too much. He's like, I think I would be happy with you if you even eloped and just like did it really privately, with yeah. like just our uh, family. That's different. exactly what I want to do. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. apparently, those are more expensive. Yeah, the small weddings are actually more expensive. Yeah. So also the location of the weddings in Korea. So it goes from like, I probably wedding halls are the cheapest. Mm. Like you have there, there are loads of wedding halls right. in Korea where lo you just go there. It's you like look. a factory. It is a wedding factory. Hour after hour, there's another yeah, wedding. Yeah, yeah, it's a wedding factory. I mean, like they decorate it nice and stuff, but I think that's like the lowest uh, thing you can have. Yeah. And then maybe level up is like you get married in like a church, Songdang. Yeah. Next up. And then the next tier up from that is like the hotels, the mm. fancy hotels in Korea. That is like the... The premium, premium, and all the celebrities get married in like Shilla or like those kind of yeah. hotels. But um, yeah, it's also just like yeah, constant social media thinking that you have unless your wedding looks like that, like you you failed, or, like you should be ashamed. That's BS. Yeah, you can't compare your wedding to like a celebrity's wedding. Mm. You can't. So it's it's really crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Sarah, for the $10 with the cute emoji pizza. Really appreciate that. And thank you, Sarah, for the 50 Woo! What would you say is your favorite part about living in South Korea? Do you know what there is to do in Taegu? I started school at Yongnam University in September. Uh, should I answer this first before you... Wait, go? wait. Chenami gave me $100. Oh my God, thank you. Anna Banana, what is the Korean wedding tea ceremony called? Tea ceremony? Tea ceremony. In part of what? what which? I don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm like. Is this hangyeonne? I don't know. Like the parents meeting and having tea. What um, are you? Uh, if you can explain what you yeah. mean, maybe I can explain better. Uh, I'll Thank answer you. this Thank first, you. and let's go back to that. Okay. Question. Answer. Answer. I'll, favorite part about living in South Korea: it's very, everything's fast, convenient, safe. Yeah. Clean. Yeah. And uh, yeah, convenience is the best thing. Uh, do you know what there's to do in Tegu? Not much, honestly, in Daegu. Um, There's a shopping mall. <laughs> maybe go to Dongseongro. Dongseongro is the biggest um, area in Daegu. Uh, go eat some tteokbokki over there. 
Um, I heard there's some nice like river One paths. One of my friends, Freya, she's from Daegu, so right. Yeah, the bicycle. <laughs> Yongnam University, from what I know, is a little bit outside of Daegu, but um, not much in Daegu, frankly mm. speaking. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Chenami. And I'm just going back and reading everyone's comments. Uh, I saw a YouTube video in which both partner and YouTuber and they paid 160k USD for the wedding. Damn. Is this a Korean couple? I can believe that. Couple? I can believe that. A lot of people spend spend more than that. Mm. Yeah. Uh, someone says, Mate, rings lose fifty percent of their value as soon as you wear it. Our Rolex will keep up with inflation. Yeah, so it's really not common. Like my mom never wore an engagement diamond ring. Most people think it's like too risky to wear, like on a daily basis. Yeah, like it is. If you're like doing stuff with your hands, they just they're just rather not. It so is, a lot is. of perf uh, women just prefer not to have. Yeah. Uh, engagement oh, there is a big ring. lake in Tegu. Yeah, go visit that. Yeah. Lake. Uh, Nicole, thank you for the 20 on PayPal. Hi, David, to fellow only child and for studio rent. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, Nicole. Tuan, thank you for the $10. Diamond rings are a sham. Really? But I still kind of want one. That industry is pitting people against each other to sell a rock. I don't know. I still want a ring. I still want a ring. <laughs> This is the reason why I, I, I don't need I, like I, I a I, I don't need like a Tiffany or like a thing whatever but I still want a ring. Yeah, I, I think that's like symbolic. Yeah. You know, it's and it lets when you're a married woman it lets people know like hey I'm married. Yeah, and don't you can come at me. Right, right, and also yeah. you can sell it later. <laughs> well, that but well, Rolex would be better though. Yeah, if you're gonna if you're thinking about investment, then a Rolex would be better. <laughs> Is Anna going to do a wedding dress video? Uh, no, because it's not my wedding. I'm my one of my friends is getting married this weekend. She's actually doing it in Myeongdong Church. Mm. Um, so that's, that's nice. Yeah, Myeongdong that's Church nice. is really hard to get. You have to wait really for like hard a, to get. a year. Yeah, in yeah, line. yeah. I had a friend do it there too, but it was beautiful. And so, only a selective few can go in actually. Oh really? So you might not even be able to go in. I went to the wedding. I paid a hundred dollars for the money, and oh. then I got like a buffet and like a gift certificate. Like voucher and then went home. Like really? after you eating, can't, oh, okay. I didn't. I couldn't even meet the bride. <laughs> oh, yeah. And also with the the cash gift thing, people like actually fall out and lose friends and relationships over yeah, this cash. Yeah, because of that. Yeah. Yeah. Some people I know from my personal friends, they mm. went to their friend's wedding. They gave maybe like, like I can't remember the amount. But the amount that was like not considered enough. Yeah. Like the actual the groom who was getting married, he saw how much they gave how and he could was like. You? You guys, like, how can you only give me like this yeah, much? Yeah, this is what you think about our yeah, you relationship. You clearly only value our relationship this much, so he doesn't talk to them anymore. Yeah, that's. So it's a really, it's a, this is how relationships. I happen. hate Korean marriages, honestly. <laughs> it, there's no dancing. There's no after party. Some do, but like, it's no fun. It's like so like routined. Yeah, yeah. Ritualized. Some, some even not even last two hours. It's like an hour and a half. Yeah, know, yeah, hour. yeah. There's like an MC that says, "Okay, let's go on to this ceremony, that yeah. ceremony, like, and then take pictures. Bye, bye. Yeah. Bouquet done. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Um, I was going to say something. Mm. Oh, oh, you know, on if you guys watch uh, Pizik Show when RM's episode when he was on, he was talking about this sort of similar thing. Yeah. Where he's like, because obviously he's a celebrity and everyone knows he's like, you oh, know, I saw that multi millionaire. Mm. He has this like dilemma whenever he wears someone's birthday or whenever he has to attend a wedding, yeah. he's always unsure on how much to give mm -hmm. because people clearly have big expectations, expectations because yeah. they're BTS. That's not fair. That's not fair either. So he's always like, in, in Korea, we have an app called Kakao and there you can send gifts to people on there. And he was like, when people, like when in people's birthdays, obviously I'm, I'm assuming with his best friends or people he's really close to, he would send them a really nice gift. But he's like, for people, I'm just like a bit like, mm, not really sure. Yeah. Like I kind of know them, but like I'm not super close. Mm. He says he goes in like the order. He goes from, he switches the order of the gifts from like low to high to low. Mm -hmm. Like for example, if it's like really premium Korean beef. Yeah. He and then he picks like the third or fourth one down from the high to low list mm -hmm. because people obviously he's like a celebrity everyone knows he has so much money like we want a really big gift from RM yeah. but he's like yeah if it was someone I'm not feeling too sure about then mm -hmm. I'll just like give them like that kind of level of right. gift and um, obviously when he attends a wedding I'm sure people will expect like who's gonna pay so much right like, right right yeah so I'm looking at it and it's like basically around seventy dollars to hundred dollars or yeah. something like that. Yeah, but even he said, if you're just not close with that friend, just person, just yeah, like, don't just go. because you're rich, you can't expect that person to give just give you a huge gift. Huge yeah. gift, yeah. yeah. That doesn't make sense. Yeah. But I see the dilemma there. If I were RM, I would be like, yeah, I have my status, but like you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> how much is the appropriate amount yeah, to give? Yeah, yeah. But um, related to this though, 
even after the wedding, like there's a unique culture. I think we touched on it too, but like after having the baby, um, oh yes, the 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 what do you call it? Juri, Sanu Sanu, one. Yes, that's apparently a unique thing in, in Korea. Korea. So let me explain. So you guys in the U.S., if some of you have given birth, let, let us know. But like usually after you've given birth, obviously you like take a bit of a break at the hospital and then you get you just recover at home, right? In Korea, there's this thing called Sanu Jori one. And it's like a special facility for uh, mothers who have just given birth. They get into this, like, it's super premium. And they, they stay there for, like, one week it's or It's like two. a hotel. It's literally like a hotel. And then you get, like, your meals made. And, like, you have, like, a nurse. Nurses take nurses care Nurses looking you. after you and the baby. And you just recover in this fancy premium mm. hotel, essentially. Yeah. And it's a lot of money. Yeah. I mean, not all of them are hotels. But there are very premium ones. There yeah. are mid-tier ones. And this is all classed too. Yeah. But apparently, women also Compete. compare yeah. amongst like other yeah. newlywed couples. Like, I yeah. went to this place. Yes. Like, I went to that place. I like, went to the best one. The service was so good here. Yeah. The facilities were so clean. Yeah. The nerv nurses were top tier. Yeah. Like, that, apart from weddings, yeah. like that too, the Sanu Jori one culture. That's costly. Like, the, the husbands at home are like, you know, I've heard like from my uh, friend, he was like, do do you really have to go to a Sanu Jori one? Yeah. And and the wife was like, what are you talking about? All my friends went there. Yeah, it's there. not even an option. It's like, you have to go. Yeah, you have to go. And then why are you being so frugal? Yeah. And I was like, and then the, my friend was like, you know, the, the, the economy's not good right now. Our yeah. earnings, we have to save up. Like, yeah. I really think, like, I'll take care of you at home. Like, yeah. I'll give you, like, miyokguk and, like, yeah. you know, take care of the baby too. But yeah. she was like, no, my friends all go. Yeah. Like, I'm going to be embarrassed in front of my friends. Yeah. It's because every single woman goes to this facility after birth. It's like, if you don't go, you're considered like, oh, does your husband not Poor care about you? Yeah. yeah like, oh, your husband is like making you recover at home. Oh my God. Like, yeah. People look down on it. Apparently, you. this is unique to Korea. Yeah. Only. In no other country, do you don't, guys don't have this, right? Yeah. I don't know. But there's so much things. So, no wonder there's so many factors <laughs> oh that are who like. Who pays for this service? Obviously, the husband. <laughs> well, I'm, they both can, I guess. But. Both, yeah, if they both have income, <laughs> but like, yeah. yeah. But because of these kind of hurdles, like negative stigmas upon weddings, mm. like the bridal showers and like all the wedding mm. dresses and like to these Hanu Jori one, it's a full process, right? Mm. And you, we have Honsu too, like wedding gifts. Oh, yes. We have, uh, usually the guy has to give the house or like, you know, you know, provide the, the so house. So back in the day, it was usually the guy had to buy the house outright yeah. for the couple Nowadays, to live in. Nowadays, it's impossible. Nowadays, it's impossible. So it's a like two-person, uh, they get a lot of family help. Yeah. But before, it's like, it was expected the guy has to bring the house. And the women, they will bring like furniture. Yeah, refrigerators yeah, or furniture. TVs or all that. And then that. you also have to gift, give gifts, like luxury gifts to the parents. Yeah. Like a Rolex or a bag or... Yeah. So all, kind of thing. all of this from pre wed It costs so much to money. Birth, like yeah. it's so much money. Like people don't want to get buried. I'm this like, this is why. This is the reason why people are not getting. I'm married. just gonna live my happy solo life. <laughs> Use all that money. Like how much? Fuck, seven fifty four k. Yeah, fifty four k. Plus like like all the gifts and yeah. like the care, like 50k, yeah. like 100, uh, 1 million. Yeah. I'm going to use that 1 million to buy my own house, go to like Bali or whatever. And, 54k, like, you can buy a Bitcoin with that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so like, no wonder people are giving up on marriage. Yeah, and, this is why. Yeah, that, this is only a fraction of why, but yeah. like this is one reason, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <sighs> comparison is the thief of joy. Yes, I agree, but this is just how it is, yeah. Um, how much? Okay, I'll try to find out how much the Sanu Jori one is. Um, and in the meantime, whoa! Hoo -hoo! Extra pizza, double cheese, Adeline. Yeah. Thank you for the hundred. Boom, boom, wow. boom. Come get married in the U.S. <laughs> it's totally okay to get married in a courthouse, then throw a party after. That's what I want. Exactly. I wish we had that in Korean culture. And uh, you have many Nuna fans here. Oh. So Slide. it's saying, <laughs> it's saying for this two week uh, facility stay, if it's upper half, it can be close to three. Yeah, it's three thousand dollars. Or if it's on the lower side, then it's like, it's much less than that, like two k. Uh, no, no, no. 
much less than that. But anyway, yeah, two k. But still, like compared, like if you add up all the costs for the wedding, the childbirth, getting yeah. the house, everything, it's still money on top of everything. Right. So that's probably the average price. But from what I know, like my friends are like middle class and up. Oh. They go to like more expensive places mm. for sure. I I heard my friend went to like a Obeng Mana. Oh, Obeng Mana. That's like forty five k. 45k? No, 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 4k, 4k. Yeah, not 45k. 4 to 5k. 4 <laughs> okay, to 5k, okay, okay. sorry about that. Um, thank you, Ya Konadu Akuaku, for the uh, $20. And um, no message, but thank you so much. Um, oh, supportive. <laughs> get, a, get Anna a supportive chair. No yes. worries. No worries. You'll be on a sofa next time. My ass hurts you every time be, on this plastic You will be compensated. <laughs> a good, good sofa. Does Korea pay for that or that's an expense? No, that's your own expense. Korea does not pay for the Sanu one. No, no, that's strictly like your, you and your partner, you pay for that service. <laughs> hey, yeah. David, doesn't Anna look pretty tonight? <laughs> what, what is the intention <laughs> of that while we're talking about like marriage and stuff? <laughs> every video, every life. Um, so Sunny funny. says, so I would have to give a Chanel bag to my mother-in-law. Yeah, that's, that is the tradition. Yeah. It, it can be a Chanel bag or it can be like a watch or... Yeah, a luxury something, mm. or like jewelry, yeah, something like that. Yeah, So, how am I going to save up for a marriage? <laughs> Usually people have s separate like bank accounts for marriage. Funds. What is Anna's PayPal? I have it pinned in the comments, guys. Mm. I have it pinned. Um, so this is why people are not getting married. Can you blame them? You can't. You can't. You can't. You can't afford a house, you can't afford marriage, you can't... But it's just like really, no other country has this facility. They can, everyone just can recover a home just fine. Yeah, I don't, like the facility is just like the tip of the iceberg. Yeah, yeah. it's like, do you need to stay in a hotel for two weeks? You can't just stay yeah, in your own I, bed. I'm not gonna say my opinion on that because <laughs> I'll get cancelled by... I mean, even as me as a female, like I think it's a bit ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. I won't be able to say that to my potential future wife. <laughs> also, you I'll know, I'll be socially pressured. To. Also, the thing of like um, gender reveal and like uh, you know, when girls before like bachelor parties or like uh, what do you call it? Those kind of parties that only girls have. The female, the bride has with her friends before they get the bridal shower. Bridal showers. Yeah. That wasn't a thing in Korea until like know, like years ago. Everybody. Now it's just like everyone's complaining like we don't need this like extra consumerist, <laughs> extra stuff. Like it just costs more money. We don't need this American like tradition. Like and usually the who these gender pays reveal parties that. and like bridal showers and like they're like it's so unnecessary. Yeah, you need to go to the Grand Hyatt Hotel. Rent yeah, and those a, cost money. Rent the penthouse, invite your friends over, at least five to six of them. Put like yeah. a diamond ring, put balloon, and say <laughs> bridal shower, and then have like a bouquet. K, which costs like a hundred bucks and then yeah. happy and then oh with my you friends. need to put it on your Instagram but in Korea until like several years ago this just wasn't a thing at all this didn't happen Instagram. it's only like trickled in Instagram effed up everything <laughs> I would say social media and Instagram yeah it's the it makes evil. everyone feel like they're living like less happy lives unless yeah. you're doing these things yeah yeah Oh, that person went on holiday to Thailand or to Bali, to Hawaii. Yeah. I don't get to go on holiday to Hawaii or whatever. It's yeah. like, yeah, comparison is the thief of joy. Exactly. Yeah, so... Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Oh, that's stressful. It's stressful. Oh, that's stressful. Okay, well, this is kind of related. Screen share. Less than 60% of Korean women aged 15 to 64 work, some 18% less than their male counterparts. This, according to the OECD, is the seventh largest gender disparity in labor force participation amongst its neighbor member nations. Mm. Female workers in Korea earn 31.1% less than their male counterparts on average as of last year. This gender pay gap is the highest in the club of eight, 38 most developed countries and is about 8, 20% points higher than the OECD average of 12%. Um, turning to the corporate world, data shows that there were 439 female executives among the top 100 largest firms in South Korea, constituting approximately 6% of the total number of executive positions, so only 6%. Remarkably, Samsung Electronics emerged as the company with the highest number of female executives, boasting 72 women in executive roles. So, yeah, that's not a lot, really. Mm. That's not a lot. And also the culture in Korea is like, um, a lot of women, Korean women, once they get married, they're just like, I don't want to work anymore. I just want to be a, a stay-at-home wife. I want to look after the house. I want to mm. raise the baby. I want to get out of the workforce. 
That could be true, but I do think there's like involuntary discontinuation of、um, careers too. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. yeah. That is a depressing statistic, but in Korea, yeah, also this is a thing that、um, some companies are not more willing to hire women if if they think if they know that she's soon to get married and soon to have a baby. They're like, oh, so you're gonna be out of work for like,、mm. we're just we're just gonna hire someone else, a man instead. I think that should be a huge thing to be discussed before you you're married. You need to be really concrete on that because、yeah. like, even though marriage isn't like a contract or anything, like these big things. Like having a baby, whether you're gonna continue your career or not, these things all weigh in in like the decision of getting married finally, right?、Mm-hmm. So if your like wife suddenly says right after you get married, you know what? I thought about it and I think I should stop going to work, then that's gonna feel like in some sense fraud,、mm-hmm. you know? Like I married her because you know I was imagining that we would stack up money together and like afford the house and living together. But now suddenly she's like, I have someone to provide for me, so let me just. Then that would be like you know in some sense fraud.、Mm-hmm. So I think those kind of things should be sorted out perfectly before you get into a marriage.、Mm-hmm. So yeah. Are Korean men keen on women working after marriage? Yes. Most guys yes. are. Because we don't have any choice. I mean, unless you're like the guy is making a lot of money,、mm. he can support. But、yeah. you, unless, like, unless that, but、like, obviously, a two-person income will be better than one-person income. Yeah, a lot、so. of people get married with the motive of accumulating money nowadays. They're、mm-hmm. like, when I talk about like, oh, marriage takes up too money and like a lot of things, you know, the expenses and stuff. With my friends, they're like, actually, in the flip side, if you get married, there's two people earning and saving up, so that. Accumulates faster,、mm-hmm. so they actually mentioned that. So、mm-hmm. I was like,、oh, okay, that makes sense too. Yeah. I mean, how it, most men in the U.S. also want their wives to keep working. No. Give me your thoughts. Is it the same? I mean, does it even matter? I I, I guess like in the man's point of view, like they would want their wives to keep on working.、Oh. But at the end, I think nowadays women just want to continue working. I mean, after after a certain after your baby has grown up somewhat, but I think in the first few years,、mm-hmm. I think. It's really hard to off when you have a newborn to be working. Yeah, yeah. Once once they go to school, it might be slightly easier and stuff. But、mm-hmm. like really, the first few years, like they need the like a parent there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, how is it? Like, how do you, how do you like your households do it? Like, how does everyone do it? I really think it's such a hard topic.、Mm-hmm. Like this is like my cousin as well. She's been married for like five years. They don't have kids, and like she gets pestered every Tuesday. By my aunties, being like, "Why don't you have a kid? Why don't you have kids?" Like, simply because we have to both work. We can't just live on like one person. Like、yeah. to have a baby, we one of us has to start working.、Mm-hmm. So, yeah, what do you guys think? And Laurel, to answer your comment, I don't think the wor- right word is fraud. Yes, I agree. Like, I I couldn't find an alternative word. But what I'm saying here is like, right after the marriage, you change your opinion. That would be considered fraud. But like. After you're married, you're happy happy for like I guess the three or five years, and then circumstances, situations change, and then you change your mind. You、uh, completely, thoroughly discuss with your partner, like you know, these and these these reason reasons led to my decision of like not continuing work. Maybe we should have a child. Let's you know, I'll focus on the child. Then these like rational steps to those decisions would make sense,、mm-hmm. and it would be like on both sides made decisions, but. Like right after marriage, you you just you're secure at your house, and you think like, even you know what? Even if I don't work, this dude is going to provide for me.、Mm. So that, that's what I was talking about,、mm. like those malicious intents. So yeah, just to clarify,、um, people say we have paid maternity leave. How long does that leave last? Like one year? Is it one year? Paid maternity leave.、Uh, childcare costs are concerning. One years. year, yeah. Uh, I was a stay-at-home mom for four years because childcare was too pricey for an infant.、Um, marriage is a financial arrangement as much as emotional. That said, I feel like partners should respect each other's goals. I mean, yes, of course it is. You're living together, so of course it's going to be a financial agreement.、Um, the first few years was very tough. My mom was able to watch my kid. Yeah, it, you need parents' help for sure. Like、mm. that's、uh, parents' help will come in very handy.、Mm. I don't have a mom, so that's gonna be hard. <laughs>、yeah. But I, I think, like, just to circle back to the article itself, like, I think it's fair to think in a perspective like、um, that there are 
there is definitely like a glass ceiling too yeah. in terms of women process proceeding into like yeah. higher up um, things because yeah. there is I've been in a workplace like here and there out uh, in and out but there are definitely like stereotypes or uh, prejudice against like women being mm -hmm. on like the administrative side or the manager position mm -hmm. and um, the patriarchal society hierarchy the strict hierarchy and stuff definitely weigh in so you know like a big example is um, whenever there's like news about like a women CEO taking over a company a big company in Korea the comments are immediately are like, oh, I bet this company is going to cripple down in like max two years. Because it's a woman? Because it's mm -hmm. a woman. Like I've never seen a woman CEO like succeed mm -hmm. or whatever. Mm -hmm. So there's definitely that kind of toxic thinking mm -hmm. and culture mm -hmm. as well in Korea. And that needs to be corrected. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, so I think, I think it's only fair to talk about that a little bit when we're looking at this article. So... Um, and and even in like the the empl employment phases, like I, I guess this is about like more higher up positions. Yeah, higher up positions. But executives, but like even in the initial starting phase, I've heard from a lot of like a lot of my friends own companies too, mm -hmm. and they need employees too. But off the record, I'm not gonna name who they are. Okay. But I've heard multiple times that. Uh, a lot of people saying like, I will never hire a woman mm. because they complain too much. They're they, emotional. They're emotional. They don't think rationally. They take period leaves. They discontinue their work after they got babies. Mm. Um, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, they a don't, lot of people, yeah, they don't do like heavy loading this. and stuff. Like, you know, men are very like obedient. They're very focused on like the uh, sacrificing themselves to the company. So I've heard a lot of this discourse, mm. and people just block out women from the get-go, like the start, yeah, yeah. starting point. Yeah, so yeah. imagine that going into like a higher manager mm. position, executive position. Mm. So I think that's the, like, not general, but like wide, kind of widespread stereotype against women employees, mm. even among like my friends. Mm. I can't say what, I, I can't say whatever to them because like mm. at the end they're go they're gonna be the ones who employ but uh yeah i've heard a lot of that so that's kind of sad that's kind of sad mm. Mm. needs to be fixed mm -hmm. i mean back in the day i mean like my dad's generation it was enough for it was he could just support um yeah, he could like it was possible for just like the man to support the family and the yeah. woman just to be at home working and obviously the woman does her part in the household and the fact that she's like cooking at home you're not eating out you're cooking at home looking after the house looking after the baby that's already like she's doing her part but these days it's just like really hard to just survive on yeah. one income unless the guy is a baller it is hard yeah mm. yeah so yeah. yeah that's that's it basically <laughs> It's so hard when I think about like getting married and all this stuff. It's like it's a it's, headache. It shouldn't be all this of, way. Like, it's like the topical conversation between me and my all my friends recently. I honestly like, like, is it actually gonna happen for us? Like, like sometimes I romanticize the good old sixties and seventies and eighties when I wasn't even born from indirect conversations I've heard from my experiences from what I've heard from my grandma or my mom of course they had it harder maybe like infrastructure wise and convenience wise but mm -hmm. in terms of relationships and family mm -hmm. I think they had like a more a richer approach mm -hmm. than us like it's like you know you meet your lover you don't think about too many things mm -hmm. you're like I'm ready to get into this relationship and make a family and mm -hmm. then they go happy they they become happy with a child and stuff nowadays it's so like calculative transactional mm -hmm. so many money issues mm -hmm. like jobs and stuff so it's it's become a and task. like our relationships are so like business transactional yeah here. marriages is marriages especially like dating yeah you can date you, people just want to date attractive people that they find attractive right dating is just like casual but for marriage is you know really serious mm -hmm. and for from both sexes guys and girls it's like really matters about you know the, the reason why we have these like is like marriage uh, matching agencies the, 
these marriage matching agencies basically what you do people go sign up for them yeah. and then they literally will match you they when you sign up you have to submit all of your personal records your job your income your assets you literally all of your records to prove that you're not lying to really mm -hmm. be really transparent like this is how much i have i am ready to get married i have this many assets and then the female the male like the person in charge of the agency they were like okay you will get suited you're like on the same about the same level you could get matched with this guy this girl and then they mm -hmm. like go on dates and then they get married like that it's super business transactional yes it's really about like okay what we can like are we suited like financially yeah, you're like rated like beef yeah you read really <laughs> yeah yeah so a lot of people use them though a lot of people sign up what tier do you think you would be like a a plus to d i mean the fact that our <laughs> job right it's not like it's not like as seen as desirable yeah. Yeah. Salary wise, do you, what tier would you think you? I mean, be? I earn decently compared to okay. most people so my you'll age. Be a. But the fact is, <laughs> yeah. But the fact is, a lot of people don't like this kind of job. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of guys don't. Right. So you, that would be you an A well. minus. <laughs> Seriously. Then, my... like visual wise, what would you grade yourself? <laughs> I'm not answering how these questions. You, how would you grade yourself from I one to ten? I am not answering these questions. But anyway, yeah. yeah but, it's a hypothetical, you know. But guys, as well, I've had some of my guy friends. They will. They'll be talking about girls, right? And yeah. then they'll be like. Oh, but like she's okay, but like um, she's not that pretty, but like her family's like really well off. So they're like, oh, okay, then like, okay, we should like do something, like go for it. Like this kind of thing, like it really matters on both sides. Yeah. It's not about like, like finding people attractive, like attractive people is easy. Having a crush on someone is easy. Getting married is not easy. What? I would say Anna is USDA prime. <laughs> Hanu A++. Anna is an A+. Plus. Oh my god, I'm getting rate, graded like B+. But... Hey, guys, <laughs> Thank take you, it easy. I guess. At least they're positive, you know. <laughs> But yeah, these like these marriage agencies exist, and apparently it's like really um, for guys who are in like the prime marriage age, mm -hmm. like especially like doctors, really people who earn a lot. Yeah. They they it's like basically free for them to join because they obviously want the right. pool. And for women, once you're past thirty, you mm -hmm. have to pay a, like a lot more money. So than yeah, the guys. Hypothetically, it'd be like this: you start from let's say hundred points, yeah. and then. How, how old are you? Oh, oh, I'm like 38. Okay, minus 5 points. Yeah, <laughs> minus 10 points. Minus 10 points. Yeah. Oh, how much do you earn? I, I guess like 50k. Okay. How much have you saved up? Minus, fi minus 5 points. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. like, how uh, how tall are you? I'm like early one si like 160 something. Also, like, are you from a divorced family? Or oh, yeah. Is yeah. your family like a happy household? Minus, minus, yeah, minus, yeah, minus. Yeah, yeah. The, the most... The most hilarious thing, have you been to a working holiday in Australia? Ah, uh, oh my have god, this you is been, super. Have you been abroad? Can you explain to them because they won't understand? This is super, super misogynistic. This is super like, stereotype and misogynistic, but they think, um, some guys in Korea think that if a, a girl... No, has, not some guys, the marriage companies actually. Okay, marriage companies, but the general consensus is they think if a girl has been abroad, like in a place like Australia or just like studied abroad, lived abroad, then they think that she would have been like complete ho. And she is not good for marriage. She's probably been like sleeping around yeah. with like foreign men because yeah. it's like more open out there. Nobody's yeah. there to control you. Like, yeah. So that's the consensus. Yeah. And these marriage companies ask you, have you been on a working holiday or like a have you been exchange abroad to Australia? Student? Yeah. And if you say yes, then your grade goes down. Minus. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Biggest BS. Literally. Yeah. <laughs> And obviously, yeah, obviously, yeah, the way you look and like your, your family, profession, they, your profession, everything. So they take all these things into consideration, yeah. and then they and match. And then your final score is yeah. C plus. Yeah. So for <laughs> congratulations. Women, so for so for some girls right now, they're like, you should just go to these agencies when you're like early twenties. You know, when you because they're saying girls in your twenties, you're in your prime. As soon as you like go down, like your grade goes down, down, down. As soon as you hit like you know 30, 31, 32, your grade goes down. So they're just like, if you want to get married to like a nice, well-off, rich man. Mm -hmm who will look after you then just like go in your like mid-20s yeah you know instead of waiting for longer <laughs> it's insane but that's the culture in korea yeah that's yeah, crazy it's insane <laughs> people are like oh just australia or see or see or see people are asking why australia i don't know why because we're, uh working holiday is the most uh common common you in can get australia. The australia working yeah the most everyone common. goes to like farms and like cafes uh, and stuff yeah. I see. Yeah, see, like there's even a, a article about this. Yeah. And um, I'll show you. We're not making this up. It's not a thing. Like a, a lot of my, I know some of my personal friends who've gone to these agency type things. 
and like had a consultation. Yeah. Are women living alone and studying abroad promiscuous? Marriage yeah. information companies absurd deduction in points. So yeah, this is actually a thing. Mm -hmm. And um, look at this. So what are the conditions for not being able to join a marriage information company? Less than high school graduate. You need a university diploma. Yeah. Height less than 167. I'm less than 167. Oh my god, you're I'm not able to join a marriage. I'm 162. <laughs> Annual salary less than four, I think that would be 40,000. Yeah, I make more than that. From those who seek ideal types in vain to those with severe hair loss. <laughs> Yeah, guys, if you have, yeah, if you're obviously balding, then you obviously lose points. <laughs> oh my god. Guys who own a property, who own a house, obviously gets like plus, 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 plus points. You know? That's crazy. That's also, they also think, um, girls, when they, if a guy has like three sisters, yeah. that's like a minus. Three sisters? Yeah, like Why? three sisters. What's because the logic just, like, on that? Well, first of all, a lot of family members, but they think it's going to be really intimidating for them when they join the family. Oh, that's just going to bully her. <sighs> That's a fact. Yeah, so if a guy that you're dating has three older sisters, then you'll be a bit mm. scared. Like, oh my god, they're gonna like, yeah, hate me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see why. Yeah, or if the parents are really parents overbearing. Are, if he's exactly. a mama's boy, yeah. does everything his mom says without like defending the wife, then yeah. that's obviously a problem. Yeah, yeah. So many minus points for guys as well. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> I would probably... Obviously, guys, it's like height is important. I income. would be like a B minus <laughs> <laughs> or something. Yeah, it's like credit score, but like for marriage. Uh-huh. So there's like, it's really less romantic compared to, yeah, you guys like, especially like, you can fall in love in high school or at, at university, you fall in love, it's like, okay, let's get married, let's like grow together, let's build our lives together. Yeah. It's possible, but in Korea, it's like, I mean, yes, if some people in Korea as well, like, like childhood sweethearts or like, you know, university, and then mm. you, you become married after several years together, that's possible. Right. But like these days, especially like our age, like dating for someone for not that long and like just like, deciding to get married because it's the right time. Mm. It's like then all of these like financial, like, like just superficial factors come into consideration. Right, right. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I have some tea. I what? have some fun tea. What? I'll just, I'll just say this and let's end the stream maybe. Okay. Yeah, it's two. But did I tell this? I, 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 t I told this publicly. So I was, uh, last year I was approached by a dating program, uh, a dating wow. reality program from Mnet. Um, and I was, I was very like debating whether I should go on it or not. Mm -hmm. And I can say this now because it's public. Mm -hmm. So the concept of the program was they put you against 50, 50 to 50 men and women who want to get married mm -hmm. with the thought of marriage. Mm -hmm. So it's like an idol survival program, mm -hmm. like you know Mnet, what they mm -hmm. do. But it's like marriage and men and women. Mm -hmm. So I was casted for that. They were like, you have an interesting you know, job, you look pretty good, like, you know, blah, 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 maybe you should come on the show. And I was like, uh, I was thinking, I asked around, and then my <laughs> final conclusion was like, no, I'm going to make myself like a clown on that show. Mm -hmm. Like, it's Mnet too. They're and gonna... you know, in control of the editing. Exactly. Yeah. I know how they edit yeah, you. So yeah, I was yeah. like, no, no way. Yeah, yeah. So I, I declined. And then the show finally came out. Okay. It's airing right now. I saw it. Is it terrible? It's exactly what we're talking about right now. They showcase you in front of a stage, like your number one, two, three, four. They grade you? They grade oh you. Oh my god, that's so bad. His salary is this, oh. his profession is this. They show you the silhouette first. What's the name of the... I'll show you right now on YouTube. Ah, porque. And right now, the, oh, this is, this is like a um, funny oh, wait, thing too. I received too. $10. From who? Oh, Tammy. If you're still there. Thank you, Tammy. Have a coffee. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. That's crazy. What's it's it called, called Couple, Couple Palace. Palace. Okay, that's so not my idea. It's, it's called Couple Palace, and <laughs> it's so crazy. Funny. Like, people are like scanning people head to toe, and they're like judging. Brutal. It's, wow. Like, look at this. So, I don't know if this is gonna get that's flagged no or copy striked, but like, I'll just show you a clip. I don't know if this is a fun clip or not, but let's get a taste of it. So. Yeah, this is this is the show. It's called Couple Palace. Imagine me walking on those. Th He's number forty six, and according to his profile, like look at this. He's a successful startup CEO. His salary is hundred k, wow. and uh, he's an IT startup CEO. Mm -hmm. And um, 
So what? you would have been one of these guys. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, 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 yes. yeah. One oh, to fifty. My God. <laughs> and they're going through like runways. Look at these chairs. 자산 약 40억 원 보유. 부동산 이 채소. He has two buildings and he has like four million dollars assets. Like. Right, right. <laughs> and then look at this. Like this title says, like, oh, her oh, heart. So funny. Her heart changed after she learned his age. So oh. <laughs> apparently he was very old. And uh, they do like speed dating too. So it's like crazy. It's That's so funny. I'm so glad you didn't go on this date. <laughs> You would have been like so shamed. I know, I know. <laughs> Keep your dignity. <laughs> and some people come on. I I saw like one part of it, and I will watch um, it later when I get home. One guy was like, "I want a wife who is okay to having more than three kids." Uh -huh. And then he was very handsome, and he had a lot of money. Uh -huh. So his initial points were like like twenty people picked him. Uh -huh. But then, as soon as he saw, like, I want a wife who wants more than three childs, everybody dropped him. Mm. Like, he got zero points mm. at the end. Because that's, that's a hard. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah. one person was like, I want a person who want, who's okay with raising dogs, mm. or like, they have their own conditions too. Mm -hmm. And there was like a, a porn actress or someone too. Like, okay. she's, she's really hot. And she has a lot of money. She's, yeah, but no one's gonna like her. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But, but then she was like, you know, I want someone who can uh, acknowledge my past, respect it, uh -huh. um, and also embrace it. Uh -huh. In return, I will fulfill all your fantasies. And then the guys were like... <laughs> and then her points went up like... Not to get married, no. No one's going to get no, married. No, everybody too. literally wanted a date with her. And she yeah, became... a date. Yeah, you, of course you're going to date on an attractive girl. But to get married to a poor and start, <laughs> no one's going to do that. But anyways, anyways, yeah. um, the funny thing is... Uh, I haven't catched up to it, but mm -hmm. recently the ranks, the the number one girl that that got the most picks is apparently um, in the same major as I am in the same school, and she was a YouTuber too. Mm -hmm. So if I went on the show, we would have definitely get like matched, matched. or something, mm -hmm. like you know, by the mm -hmm. crew. But it's it's wild, it's wild. But yeah, go check it out if you're I'll interested. I'll watch it later, yeah. It's really <laughs> funny. It's really funny. There's some hilarious people there too. Wait, I have a question. I got a question. How would yeah. these agencies know how happy your family is? So they will look at your family history and be like, do you have divorced parents? Or yeah. like I met someone recently who had all of his, his aunties, like in his whole entire immediate family, there mm. were like four divorces. That's what he divorces. grew up seeing. That's too much. Yeah, so obviously he's going to have a slightly different skewed view on relationships and like... Obviously. He's going to be hard time. And like if, it, if a woman finds out like you, you have an immediate family, your parents got divorced and all like four other couples in your family got divorced then obviously I can't really trust you. They're going to trust that guy less. Right. They're going to think like you're going to just divorce I mean, me too and you're just going to have a healthy divorce, view. One, two divorces yeah. would be okay. Yeah. But like four divorces mean... It's a pattern. Mm -hmm. Like there's something... Yeah. A reason behind those like divorces, yeah. so you would yeah. be definitely like red flag. But also, even me, I asked some of my like friends and like acquaintances. I was like, mm -hmm. I don't have a mom because she died of cancer. Is this like a minus? Oh. They're like, for some people, yes, oh, it could be. Oh yeah, it could be. Because like immediate family cancer, like that, some people might want to avoid that. So I'm just like, oh great, more minus points. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this I, is I how heard, it is in Korea. <laughs> yeah, I heard like single parent households and stuff. Like sometimes they don't like prefer. I mean, conditions. luckily, I mean, I grew up with a parent. This was yeah, only yeah, like very, yeah. I was already so right, full of right, an adult. Right. But like, yeah, if you grew up with uh, just a single parent, they also look again, bad on that too. Yeah. This is what Kelsey was talking about, like her parents not wanting to seem divorced mm, until she was a full true. grown adult. Yeah. That's true. Because all, the parents in Korea, like, care about this sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they care about this sort of thing. <laughs> yep. <laughs> this is why, this is the reason why nobody's getting married. This. It's too hard. Before too many the aforementioned stuff, plus all the stuff. Here, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what's going on? Do you, I don't think you guys, yeah, could get married in Korea when there are so many expectations and mm. <laughs> roles to fill. Yeah, it's really sad. Yeah, it's really <laughs> stressful too. Really stressful. Yeah. But thank you for people who joined the stream. I'm sorry for the glitch, and thank you for all the su people who sent super chats and donations. Appreciate you. <laughs> yeah, look at that stage. <laughs> so next week, because I'm going to Hong Kong on the Thursday. So yeah, we'll do our live on like Tuesday or something. Our normal. Okay. 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 So. Whatever suits you. Yes. Um, I think in maybe two weeks or three weeks, mm -hmm. two three weeks max, I'll be uh, furnishing the new studio, so Ooh. we can finally go there and get you a comfortable chair. Mm. 
<laughs> so let's find out how to do that. Mm. And uh, it's two. I haven't had lunch, so I need to go get lunch mm -hmm. right now. And speaking of lunch, thank you, Ross, for the hundred. Wow. Pizza, pizza. This is for lunch. Yes. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Enjoy your trip. Thank you, guys. I'll of course be vlogging her uh, the Hong Kong trip because I have to. That's my job. Mm. Uh, okay. Thank you, guys. Have a good night, evening. Have a good night. Yeah, and let's all mourn for pray for us that we could get married. Karina. <laughs> yeah. Oh, mourn for Karina. My oh, chance okay. of marrying Karina is now gone. It's so. gone. I mean, I don't think it existed to begin with, David. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's like me saying I can get married to Tongo. <laughs> You 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 said you might have a shot with Otani. <laughs> Why don't I have a shot hey, with Karina? Maybe, <laughs> maybe. Hey, you never know. Maybe too. I watch a lot of K dramas too. Maybe I would stumble upon her in like a random setting. And <laughs> slow motion happens. And... Okay, bye bye. Okay, bye bye. You can end it first, and bye. let me just promote something okay. before I go. So, yeah, as you all know, I opened up a new online store where we have authentic, cool Korean products. The products you have been seeing here, rotating here. That's a Hangul scarf. That's a Soul My Soul uh, use reusable bag. And there's a Korean jersey over there. Everything is so cool. We have like collaborations, unique collaborations with designer brands with Korea. We're trying to get like Peace Minus One on it, like GD's brand. We, we're trying to get IAP Studio, Benzino's brand on it. We're trying to get like limited products on it as well. We can get traditional products, like traditional, um, what do you call them? Like umbrellas and clothing. We, always, we also have these unique playing cards if you want them. And uh, so much fun. We also have very unique uh, blog content. So go check it out. And everyone who signs up right now will get a 15% discount link sent to you uh, via email. So this is the site. It's birozo.net, B-I-R-O-S-O.net. So let me type it in the chat over here. Go check it out. Um, very interesting products. Right now, our best sellers are these products. The Ni Everyone's really Nike liking this Nike um, Korean sweatshirt and this uh, bracelet worn by BTSV. These uh, cute little cups, Korean style, these coasters. We're going to get actually so many different types of bracelets from this company. This company really liked uh, partnering with us. So a lot of these bracelets are worn by BTS and um, K-pop stars. So expect more coming in stock within this week. We have, oh, there, there's actually one worn by IU over here. So really cute, right? So uh, you can get these. Uh, this is a ring. Uh, this is a really unique type of statue, statue figure. You can decorate your home. This is from the uh, Pekje era and it's like a Korean traditional Cup, golden cup. We got these Soul My Soul slippers. Like slippers mm -hmm. yeah. You want those slippers? Yeah, <laughs> and then, some? yeah, we're going to do some model shoots in the future. So, yeah, um, more sweatshirts, keychains, and interesting blog post. Uh, yeah, all these kind of stuff, notebooks, more and more products to come. We got Korean bestseller books. Globally, uh, vegetarian, pachinko. You should do a like a vertical live stream, just like 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 home shopping. Mm, like this kind yeah, of... maybe I'll try that out. <laughs> These were the cards I was talking about. Reusable cups. We got kitchenware, muddlers, and soju glasses, and everything. So please go check it out. It's being updated daily. Um, so yeah, this is this is what RM had on his um, table. So it's pedozo.net, 15% off all your purchases if you use that link in your email. Uh, fast, fast global shipping. We have a proper office for it now. So please support me and thank you for all your super chats and PayPal's today. Thank you for watching. Uh, go check out my recent episode on YouTube about, oh, we should have maybe talked about that for a while, but it was interesting. Let, uh. let me show you. Um, uh, I have a recent episode out about this topic. So the, 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 the title is talk shit about Korea and you'll get views. So we're talking about like maybe the toxic environment 
of Korean content being created right now on like short form platforms, TikTok. We had Han on it, um, Sean on it, and K Explorer, Jerry on it. We talk very brutally. Like three seconds in, Sean is going to say fuck off. <laughs> But oh, and also I've contacted Sean. So I think it was Kelly. Yeah, if I'm if I'm correct, I think it was Kelly who gave me a big donation in a couple streams back, uh, wanting me to invite Sean, and I finally contacted him, and uh, I think he'll be down to do a collaboration. So expect him to be on the stream soon. Mm. So if you want to join, you can. Some people in the comments were like, "Put Anna and Sean together. It's gonna be." <laughs> Oh, okay. Interesting. That's fun. It's gonna be interesting. Okay. But anyways, go check this uh, video out. Please stream it, and uh, I'll go have lunch. So have a good night. Have a good day. Bye.